number seven and number oh eleven in the that. world as 7 well. Seven eleven. Oh, what does that sweet. mean for us? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sign? Maybe it could be. Are we sponsored? He never comes. From Shout there. out to Monster Intel. Ever. Yes. And, and potentially Seven Eleven. And fr fresh cut, fresh cut for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, the crowd is a lot of money yes. right now, and we got Stu the announcer too. Yeah, shout out to I am. Great job. I, like I saw as Stu yeah. was walking out, just Why himself. He goes, it's up. not for me. It's because that's awesome. You love to see that. You love to see that. Getting the adrenaline. You gotta get in there. Look at this. This person is a professional fool. Oh my god, your saturation. And I mean that. You're looking like as as also a fool. Like you need to put yourself out there. You need to not feel stupid. Right? You have to be willing to take risks. That's right. Even in front of all of these people who can now hear us. Oh my god, what's up, MDBA? What's up, MDBA? Oh. Chad, what is up? Hello, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that was loud. That was loud. I didn't realize because I didn't have headphones in, but that was, you know, I'll give you that. Ludwig is not prepared That's to, not, to have another human being next oh to him at all, God. even you're a little so, bit. You're late. This is over his lap like a seatbelt. This cable. Give it up for our moist moguls. Look, it, 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 dude. It, I just, you just please, need a longer. You're not allowed to lift the seatbelt during the ride. Jesus, man. <laughs> it is dangerous. Super Smash Con Dubbin! Top 8. Dubbin, Dubbin, Dubbin. With slime All right, wire. man. Fat, fatty Boy Series says, Ludwig, you're gay, JK. He was only kidding. <laughs> he was only kidding. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Woo! How you doing, babe? I'm good. I'm, I'm, ch I'm being chilling. Bing chilling. As the kids say. Uh, that's so old. What? That is so old. No. Bing chilling is I'm years 30. old. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Bing chilling is a 2023 no, extravaganza. No. No. I think you're smoking balls again. You, they, it is not 2023. Decades old? It's not decades old, but it is an old meme. T Bing chilling? Bing chilling, yes. That video is old. I didn't even know it was a video. Dude, I just go what? what the, I just go with what the kids say on Twitter, bro. You didn't know it was a video? No. You I don't watch videos. I don't even know who summoning salt is. The original Bing chilling video is is John Cena. What? I, dude, you're so illiterate. <laughs> uh here it is. Wait, is it when he speaks Chinese? Yes, Mandarin. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is crazy. It's 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 him making like a little little video, you know, like you would, like an Instagram style video. But for Bing Chilling. Wow. But in, for, for Fast and Furious 9, actually. But he's talking about the ice cream he has in his hand. Of, of course. Uh, and so people, like, have memorized that. That is so... Including bizarre. Gotham Chess. Who that, can rattle off Bing Chilling like it's no problem. In Mandarin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's a polyglot, right? No. I'd like to... He's just good I'd at like chess. you to give me some polyglot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use it in a sentence. That's so funny, bro. Okay. You, hey, hook, line, and sinker. Right. You walked into that yeah, one. Yeah, I guess I did. I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with Nick too much. <laughs> what is that? I like that uh, emote of the the blushing. Shy? The shy blushy yeah, guy? That's cute. Flirt. Flirt. All right. It's time for melee now. Right to man, right to man, right to man, right to man, right. Dub, 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 dub. Dude, this is how I actually am. I need to factory reset you in the morning. Yeah, I didn't get factory reset. I am actually like this. Personally, um, attest to him playing in the morning. High. That's a pretty I get big hyper. accomplishment. In the morning, he does get hyper. I'm, I'm, I'm like the NPC. I'm the the hot NPC like you're okay. Yeah, I'm you're okay. all you're listening to. It was very impressive. His game plans. How do I make it louder for us? Very ah. well developed. Yes. And I think Yoshi is one of those. We don't need to listen. Kind of need a, a defined game plan. Yes. Um, he's he's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. Oh, one more time. So when you're facing those freaks and losers out there at the bottom of the tier list. Now, uh, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. I think the thing that 
um, is really well, 11 42 a.m. barely for morning. His, Look, for, for his performance if you're counting, is that Yoshi's you've already lost the game. Has to be a little bit so true of you. So true and of me now. I'm true really for you. Dub end, dub end, dub end, dub end. They leverage <laughs> fundamentals. Trying to figure out how to Ice make cream so good. Go Dub so good. <laughs> Dub so good. Yum yum. This is your nothing. This is your problem. Because you need sound, and I only absorb like the game only. I don't ever. need only. sound. It just it's nice to know what my chat's listening to. So I can do this. And then I can do this. I think he's one of those players that will benefit from that might be good. To Amsa. I'm crazy, dude. Rough, I'm crazy. You're crazy. A guy with no speakers at his desktop computer. I'm crazy. <laughs> so, did you watch Melee at all yesterday, or did you fucking bitch out again? Did you did you skip out on the game that you love one more time? No, I watched it all. What what was your favorite part? I think it was when Moki beat Hungrybox 3-1. What else? Morse code's really good run. What else? Huh, if I had to keep going, I would say Doc Lee. Okay, there we go. That's oh! what I was kind of waiting for you to talk about. Blammo! <laughs> he gets there. Also, uh, the we we sponsored <laughs> I did, it. I didn't watch Moki play. This is like, I got a fucking kid, and I'm like asking other parents how my kid did. That's so funny. And then I'm like, no, I was in the crowd, kiddo. Did he, did he, did he hit any goals? Did he, did he score? Did he, score did he cry goals? again this week? He doesn't cry anymore? Okay. Oh, my God. Kiddo, you didn't cry today. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Super Smash Con Top 8. Um, yeah, I, I heard about Doc Lee. He's one of the best players he, in the world. He, he played the whole day or just part of the day? Uh, he, he played all, all over the, the Was board. Was Mech versus he, Mango? He played some Marth. He played Doc Lee. Uh, Mech versus Mango is Falco. Okay, he went try hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he okay. invalidated Ganon pretty hard. That was pretty cool to watch. Which is hype because now we have, he has a great bracket. His bracket's really good. He has Cody. Which is, he's the only human who can do it against Cody. He, well, no, he's not. But he, him and Zayn. He, and Jmook. And Jmook. <laughs> the list is growing. I think I could do it. You think you could be? Cody. I think I could be Cody. I think I think. You could maybe take a half a stock off of Cody. A dead ass. Think you can hit a back air or two. You can hit a back air or two. Thank you, man. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, Mango's run has been pretty good. We we sponsored a, a player called the Sashi, aka Young. Well, uh, I've known this kid since he was like literally 14. He was in uh, SoCal Melee, and he just started getting really good over the past eight years, <laughs> and. Uh, and so we sponsored him to go to a couple tournaments this this summer, and he made like I think got 13th. He plays Falco, and he's a he's a good kid. So that was that was why he was uh, the yard sponsored. What are you doing? What do you need? It's, it's the he's so unprepared for no, shit it's, all the it's time. The state of California. I showed up late, and you're still not ready. Why? You have a stain on your Mogus jersey. No, I haven't washed it yet. But check out the Mogus jerseys. They don't stain. They don't stain. The jersey doesn't stain for you. The state of California has this rule where they don't give you utensils unless you ask for them. That's funny because I get utensils all the time in my bag. It's not a state of California thing. It is. It's a U gap. No, it, it's okay. I get them all the time. It is a state of California thing. You're supposed to only give utensils if they're asked for. Well, I got the the fucking good same with places. straws. I got the places that are on the DL. Oh, hello. All single use plastics. You have to ask for. Oh, nice. Doesn't doesn't matter. So, do you do, when you typically stream top eights? Does your chat know what's going on? Chat, what do you, what do we know about these two? Chat, you tell me. Dubbin, Dubbin, Dubbin. Jesus. <laughs> so good. I have to do. Uh, I have to do that. I have to do a NPC stream. Are you have to? Or yeah. You have, you have no, I have to. I lost a bet. I have you to would, you would be so good at it because you're kind of are that already. That hurt my feelings a lot, actually. <laughs> That's what most streamers are. Hey, hey, thanks for the sub. Amsa has only won one major, and they both play melee. Okay, one of those is right. <laughs> okay, good. let's go. Good job. Yoshi player is unique and cool, and they are schmoving. Okay, look at you teaching the kids. Uh, Aklo is winning. Aklo is one of the foxes all of the time. Amsa is pretty good sometimes. That sounds like the guy who has that on his internship.
Aklo's 0 and 6 against Amsa, and Amsa reverse 3 0 to Aklo at Gamo. Let me tell you guys a couple things about Amsa versus Fox McCloud. He he basically destroys any Fox McCloud except for two Fox McClouds. Yep. Moki. One or, is my my man. Or IBDW. One is not my man. That's right. So Moki is a moist mogul. He wears the jerby. No stains. They know this. They know. We, they know about. Cannot we talk be about found. Moki. No be stains. No, it's stain free. It's like when they made stainless steel. We just made stainless jersey. Yeah, that was part of the the R and D process of Moist Moguls. That's why it's taken a while to come to your doorstep. He demanded it out of Charlie. I was in the I was in the Zoom call. It got really heated. I tell that fucker what he needs to do for me. It, and you shouldn't treat the business relationship like that, but we got the stainless steel jerseys. I tell him what to do for me. And then, so, but uh, IBW is the other guy. When those two play AMSA, they, it's really hard for AMSA to, to, to win. They, they make it really hard. But Aklo is sort of the top of the range of people that lose to AMSA, if that makes sense. So he has the highest chance of people that have never beat him to beat him so far right now and that's what we're watching this one game is lasting quite a while uh, what it doesn't really go there. three minutes i i'm saying bro these shits to me go that's not a long time yeah but th in this matchup it goes fast and to me it is a long time wow that's because sad. i get shit done fast <laughs> it's not a compliment for yourself i like the moist smuggle i look out the umbrella looks like a scythe a scythe because he takes him to church <laughs> it's so early for me. <laughs> Dude, what, what's crazy is you're very energetic in the morning, and then you crash so fast. It's, I'm all in. Like, the moment this is done, you're going to take a nap. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I'm like a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can pull up if that stat was accurate. The 06, because that's kind of brutal. He's a stats guy. I think stats are helpful. They're only helpful if you don't already follow the context of the soul. They're helpful if you extrapolate all the data out into infinity. Wow. Wait, so this is good data. What are you talking about? Okay, so it's 6-0 in Ops' favor, which makes you think Aklo can never win. But Aklo has consistently gotten more games as time's gone on. Yeah, it's three O's and then a three one and then two three twos. Past the best two sets series. were game fives. So that's so, kind of cool. So what does that say about math? Aklo's gonna win this. It's it says that it's a mysterious bear for us. Um, do you do you know it? I'm still a piece of garbage. Whoa! Yoshi for damn near twenty years plus. Just has never had a an up B. Do you they, want to bite of my croissant? They never gave him one. I don't want it. I want you to crack this open with your teeth. <laughs> uh, that's a really bad idea. Can I use another item? Huh? Can I use another no, item? your teeth are strong enough to do it. And knows that the egg mash out is static. It is not percent dependent. Can we not? So it is always the same number of <laughs> It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Well, I guess we don't get to drink it then. Well, Put I it can on do the table. It. I can do another Put one. Put it on the table. I'll do, check this out. This is what I do. Wait, do you got the belt a little bit? We saw him get the top flat. We saw him get a drink. Whoa! He's just labbed out this matchup. Uh, an ice cold oh. beer okay. for my underage yeah. lips. That's an answer. Yeah. Uh, hurts? <laughs> Depending on who you're a fan of. Yes. Yes, shine being used it's just as a mineral uh, water, boys. And I'm 33. Double, double, mm, double lie to you. Like the damage here on Yoshi is so much more valuable. Um, in this yeah. You want some? And he had the tree he bought. Ooh, Drink up. The puppy off the top. There's so much expensive it. equipment on this grounded. desk. Look how close it's getting. <laughs> yeah, dude. Actually, I think that went further up than up air, and it might have even done more damage. <laughs> Okay. So this is a good stage for Aklo. Ultimately, if you're putting money on this, you're probably getting like a four to one payout if Aklo wins. Um, that's how much of an underdog he is. Oh my god, because Amsa does wild, wacky, wet world stuff. I do wonder what the gap is because like. Aklo has like practices as much and is like and swags as much and has just as much like popped collars as Moki and IBDW. No, but he just can't do it. Moki's got more popped collars. Moki may have more popped collars. On this stream, I'm legally supposed to say that. I think this has been a tried and true in all of melee. 
Is that you have to do it to start doing it? Yes, Maybe I, move I camera down really to like the bottom so we can see the man. Oh yeah. And try to stay low Whoa. because the air, up. air is just getting counter kicked. That's crazy. And killing Yoshi at 100. Yoshi's kind of NPC stream too. He's always eating stuff. Yeah, and he goes. Prom, prom, yeah. Prom, prom. <laughs> Hi, scream show, good. Uh, <laughs> I think the moment Aklo starts beating people, he's gonna keep beating people. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Is you get a you get a, a taste for victory. I do think Moki gets a power up in the fact that he doesn't seem to respect people the way he fights against them sometimes. Moki. Yeah. Yeah, Moki, Moki is fueled. He's kind of like a, a Canadian Leffen in that way, in that he's fueled by vengeance and vengeance alone. Mm -hmm. Moki is at his best when he is takes his sadness, turns it into rage, and then puts that rage on the setup. Was that Star Wars quote? Uh, you are my father. <laughs> yeah. Peter, Peter, you are my father now. You should have Peter on stream. I think he's been on stream. Has Peter ever been on stream? No, I don't think he has. He's been in videos. He's he's better edited. You think so? I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> you don't want Peter, the live wire he no. is. <laughs> I don't want the fuck it will do a live. You got you got him start talking about the government. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. The Zoomers fall out of love with Peter extremely quickly. It's just because he has really educated takes on the government that takes a lot of deep understanding to. Oh, they're taxing us too much. It's just too many taxes. We have to drain the swamp. <laughs> he doesn't say this. He doesn't say this. <laughs> he doesn't say drain the swamp. I love Peter. So, okay, a couple things about Aklo is I think he's one of the more recognizable foxes. If you couldn't see the player cams, but you knew a fox and you watched a lot of Melee, you could reasonably be like, that's definitely Aklo. Why do you say that? Because he'll do, he'll do a lot of side B edge cancels to the platform, which is kind of hard to aim to get out of jams. He does a lot of mid shortens, which is also difficult to do. He's really good at those like weird esoteric things. Uh, and he does them more often than someone like Moki or IBW. Question. Go ahead. Do you think he lasers more, less than, or equal to his neighbors? He, he, he lasers equal to. I would say even he lasers less than IBW. But what Aklo does do, he uses the reflector a lot in annoying ways. Aklo's playstyle is kind of designed to piss you off. Uh, Stop. Is this propaganda? It's not. Because he said it himself. He'll literally taunt. Like, he it, he can say as much as he wants, like, I'm just playing the game and having fun, but ultimately, like, that's what you're doing, right? And it's not malicious, it's just a strategy in addition to being really good. Ah, so it's like in Vinland Saga, when Oshkolod was challenged... <sighs> Sorry, we got, uh, well, Oshkolod was challenged by Thorfinn to a duel, and then he baited Thorfinn by talking about personal father death. Who wins that? Ashkelad because Thorfinn gets so enraged that he goes for a very sloppy attack. Ugh, that's so Aklo. Yeah, and I'm Thorfinn there, or I'm Ocelot. I'm the guy who dies because I get mad. No, it's Thorin, Thorin versus Revolver Ocelot. Die. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so that's why I think Ackle's a really interesting player because he's good in addition to playing kind of uh, wonky in in a way that the other top foxes sort of refuse to play with in a way. Uh, but I think the, the the rumors of his lameness are greatly exaggerated because he plays pretty pretty good. I think he plays pretty cool, uh, and I think he gets a lot of shit. At least in the past on the Slippy era. See, look at that shit. That's what I'm talking about. He goes up, comes down, up, smash. Pussy Land with a laser, too, for fun. Oh, jeez! Uh, so I'm an Aklo. I used to be an Aklo hater. Now you I'm an did. Aklo enjoyer. And that's growth. I See, I, I'm the opposite. Hate him, see, see how fast he gets out of there? He does that consistently. Ooh. Bobby Big Balls does that with Falco a lot, but I think Aklo's... Oh, my God. Yep, that's smart. But he bleeds. He bleeds. Is it best of seven? No. Best of sevens don't exist in melee unless they're like weird show matches. He's dropping stuff. He's dropping stuff. Uh, he just did a down throw. He just missed. What are you gonna do? Up throw? He missed uh, like two different shine up smashes. This is really tough for Amso. That's why he took him to Dreamland. There's a lot of room to fucking move around and be a pup. A big time. 
Whoa. You guys should get a puppy. We have three animals. Get another animal now. You're the one. Puppy. Who needs to get a puppy? Why? Because yeah, you like want to get a puppy. Puppy bang. But then I have to water it and take care of it yeah. and all that stuff. I want to be your uncle. You would enjoy that. You would enjoy having purpose. I want to be your dog uncle. Yeah, but you know the thing about a dog uncle? Mm. They never, ever get what they really want. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. They never, ever love you. No, I was going to say you never love your pet that you are an uncle to as much as if you were a father to. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't I think need to you want that the love. love. No, I just I think come. you want that love. I pet the puppy bear. Stop doing that. Wow. Look, Mario's there. Wow. Why is Mario in the crowd? Why don't they got chair? No, I guess they're pretty full. They're full of shit. That is a full venue. That's pretty cool. Look, Look at the all crowd. the crowd. Yeah. Mikey's here. Ooh. Try to find Mikey. Moist Moguls. Right there. You see that? Moist Moguls. That's my guy. Give it up. Was Mikey, just, Mikey, it was Bears, Mikey, Mikey Bears. Mikey Bears. Mikey Bears. Ben. Ben SW. Ben is where is he? Wearing Where's the that? one shirt Where's that, that blue he shirt? wears. It's right there. There he is. Yep. He's well, it's that one, and it's the C9 one. Yeah. He was wearing yesterday. He only wears blue, and he never washes them. No. It's, it, he, wears it, he wears them shirts like raw denim. <laughs> he just puts it in the freezer for a while if it gets dirty. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of a heartbreaker, honestly, for Akko. Wow! Because he did a lot of work, and he just didn't he close it out. Yeah, and then he brought him Battlefield. What do you think about that? I don't like him. I think the plan was good on Dreamland. I think taking him to Battlefield doesn't really help here. But it also, he's from New York, and New York considers Battlefield their sacred ground. I hate that. Why? Because it's like a very... It's like the most used map ever. Yeah, but they, they, they take it to the next level, even. They'll sure. play like a best of five all on Battlefield. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't hate it. Is Reno from New York? Uh, No. Okay, then I hate it. What are you gonna Wait, do? Why? What are you gonna do? What, tell, tell me oh what your God. problem is. Oh, Dom Melo. Dom Melo. Because uh, Reno... Wait, is Reno... Yeah, Reno is from New York. Okay, I was right. What? Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. I thought so, because I, I vaguely remember some tag being like Reno from NY. Or why, Reno did, why does Reno live in Nork in SoCal forever? Uh, Reno doesn't live in SoCal forever. He did. Um... Anyway, explain yourself now. Reno is the one that, in my mind, solidified that uh, Sheik's best map is Battlefield. Uh, why? Did you get, like, beat once on it? No. Just as a viewer. As Just because the way you... When did you watch Reno play? <laughs> Seven years ago? Sorry, sorry. Fucking keep up, bro. I kept up. This is such a deep cut for you. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe that throws you off. <laughs> this uh, is so what's, funny. No, what's better? Well, how can I relate this to you? Isaiah, if he tried, like, what do you fucking want? <laughs> you say that. Guess who won 64? Isaiah. Isaiah. He had a great run. He's in, still showing up. In waterfall pools or whatever the hell that means. He loves playing 64. And he's really good at it. Love that. Okay. I w look, you know what? I'm... <laughs> Here's here's what here's what the liberals okay, don't want you to hear. Okay. I'm tired of seeing the dinosaur win. He's not been winning. I I think the dinosaur should take a back seat. I want to see an Aklo W. I think the dinosaur his that time is extinct to boot. So think about that. Wow. Here's the thing. I don't disagree necessarily. Capable. But capable. for a fox, oh, we have three already. More, 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 what? more. You want four in top I want eight? Eight spaces for once. <laughs> what do you mean for once? Because Hbox is always in top eight. That's true. He's he always has his streak. I didn't realize how low ranked he was. Hbox has a streak of being always in top eight and a streak of brown on his underwear <laughs> at all times as well. Ooh, that'll do it. Aklo, say goodnight. Seventh place for not. our goat from New York City. <laughs> His underwear is usually... Like, I don't know it, I guess, but... Oms is looking clean today. All right, let's check out good old bracket. Oms a win. Super smash. Oms so good. Yum, yum, <laughs> yum. Yum, is it the macro stuff, but it's also the really specific micro stuff. Uh, yes. Melee singles bracket. I like how you go to Liquipedia. I don't know. It's the first thing I popped up, and honestly, I don't like it. That's the tryhard bracket star. reader. This I is 2022. That I'm such a big fan. This is crazy. What the I fuck like is that? With the hair. What is that? The bald look is great. By the way, this game reminds me of that one time I watched a league event. 
Fiddlesticks was so garbage. <laughs> what is that voice? Megan. Who's Megan? Megan said, oh my God, it's Tony no, Stark. I, I know. I, it, Me- what do you mean, who's Megan? A big fan, clearly. Like what? I mean, what do you have to say to Megan, I guess is my question. That was so sexual sounding. It's just Megan's voice. Like, don't be weird about it. I don't like it. You don't like Megan's voice? No. <laughs> okay. She's just talking. I don't know. I don't like it. Or do you want to reply no to her? No Goral's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the guy in the Matrix. He's like, yo, I can set you up the woman in the red dress. Uh, all right, boom. Aklo beats, uh, excuse, excuse me, Amsa beats Aklo and moves on to play loser of, ooh, good news for the moist moguls. They're so moist and they're so rich. God, how many tournaments has it been that Amsa is running into the Moki wall? Yeah, it's kind of rough. I looked at the stats and stuff because they were ranking Opsa, and it's like he'll either run into Zane or her, or, or sorry, Moki, or he'll run into Cody. And it's like those are the guys that he just really has trouble beating. And here's the thing. I mean, I guess I'm, I am I have an assumption. It is very possible Moki beats Zane. It's, it hasn't happened yet, but it could happen because they get some close sets in. But it is, it is scarier if Zane goes down there. You spelled it Hugry Box. Hugry Bugs. H box. It's just H box. I wish I could see the whole chat, but your fucking dumb setup is only meant for one man. Boom. Wow. I don't allow complaints in my chat. He does. Hungry box. Why does Zane not have the moist tag? He has to change it on Smash GG. I have to go bug him about yeah, it. I don't decided to do that. Don't go goon commander on me today. Why? Uh, ooh, Zuppy versus H box. I thought it would be a wash. They've played a lot online though, and Zuppy won a couple. Zuppy has won a couple, but here's the thing. Let me tell you guys something. You're going to hear this a lot uh, over time. No one can handle H-Box on LAN. That big brown streak. You smell it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but there's a difference between online H-Box and H-Box in person. And H-Box has been to more top eights than you guys have, like, like, done normal things. It's actually crazy. And you got to think about that. So, there, Zelpy may have a, some sort of edge by playing Fox. He plays Box, and he's like uh, really cringe or whatever. And, but he can't beat on land one. No one can. No one can do it. Zelpy just took a selfie. I hate that for him. Mm. What are you going to do? I mean, I think it's just like you lose. Like, GG. Community. Yes. And you did? Uh, Juan, Juan, can you take a selfie with me? Yeah, you can see it. I'm just saying, like, when Mbappe goes up against Messi. (laughs) Oh, sorry. Let me uh, help you out. Uh, In Stargate SG1. What? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a... In MASH, what do you fucking want from me? I'm referencing the two most famous footballers. And I don't watch anime. I already fucking went through this with you. All I'm saying is taking a selfie and going big fan behavior, which I don't, I think Zuppy just wants like a fun top eight pitch on stage. Yeah. But it's like, it's like, you got to pretend you've been there. You're not going to win. Zuppy's not going to win now. Do you think, you think this kind of attitude is self-defeating is what you're saying? You've already resigned to a, to a, to a lower position than your opponent. Uh, Cause Hungerbox has been here so many times, he wouldn't ask for a selfie. It's just another day in the office. I see what you're saying, but I I don't think it's as much of a death knell as you might be thinking. But, I I, I I'm but you, calling, you know what? You watch a lot of competition. You own an esport team. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I'm calling. And 3-0. you got a derby. I'm calling it a a three zero for Hungerbox. Maybe three one. <laughs> And then a laugh and a chuckle and a fist bump from Zuppy. Zuppy's glasses are filthy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We've seen this a thousand times. I bet the CRT glow is just a big white twist. blur to him. The camera angle does not make him. Good lord. I took your Topo Chico. After you didn't open it with your teeth. I cracked it open for you and gave it to you. I know this. Well, I thought you got it for yourself. I did, but it's okay. You can have it. What's mine is yours. Topo Chico so good. Yeah. <laughs> I put this guy. 
feels like it's a different matchup. All right. I love Fox Puff. Oh, he went for it. Yeah, very low percent, and he was holding right. Moki's set against HBox was extremely impressive. He he dismantled Juan de Biedma bit by by bit. It was good for the Moist Moguls. It's bad for all competitors because Juan will remember that, and he will camp. Yeah. Um, there's also a theory going around that Juan will give you the first game on Battlefield. He'll make you feel like you can do it. Mm. And then he goes Ultra Instinct. Sure. I don't think he does that for the first two socks. Do you remember when he started wearing the chain? No. I don't. One, actually, yes, I do. I do. I do. I actually vividly remember the chain because he would get a lot of compliments on the chain early on. Or, like, comments on the chain. Yeah. Like, commentators would sit down and be like, Dang, Hungry Box with the chain. Whoa. Right, yeah. Oh, you can't jump there. They jump like that in Canada. Is Zuppy Canadian? Uh, yeah. I guess I could just look over. Down throw at ledge. Smart. Why is it smart, Dubbin? Because if you DI it down throw in, you can get a re-grab as puff. And if you DI it out, you have an edge guard opportunity. Do you? you can just rest off down throw. Mm. I've chain grabbed you with it. You would know this. Yeah, because I used to DI it in because no one ever <laughs> ever down threw me where I came from. And then Lubbin did, and I didn't even know him. And he made me look like a fool mm. wearing Tim's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did wear Tim's and make you look like a fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I do it with Crocs. You don't make me look like a fool. Also, did you see me play Melee the other day? I was electric fine. Oh, the 1v1s? Yeah. No, because that was when I asked you to hang out with me. Oh, that's right. And you bailed and went live. Yeah, bitch. How's it feel? It doesn't feel good. This is why. It doesn't feel good at all. Hmm. And you, cool. al you also were like, oh, man, we never hang out. Dub it. I don't <laughs> so, like hanging out with 7,000 people. It fucking stresses me out. Do you like Mango? Of course I like Mango. Do you like Aiden? Yes. Do you like no. me? No, I don't. Do I do like you. Do you like Nick? Yeah. Do you like Leffen? Yeah. Okay, so what's the problem? It's too many people. It, you, it it's fries all people my brain. You like. It's it all fries people you my like. brain. I don't know like. why. Oh no! Don't give me ice cream and and cookies. I like both it's of them. It's too much sugar me for me. I get hyper. That's good to get hyper once in a while. No, mm. Pero. Don't the curse. Don't the Juan de Bied. You can keep him, sirs. You can keep the Juan de Bied. Blessing of Thoth. Blessing of curses Thoth. And raw, curses of Raw and blessings of Thoth are, Thoth are allowed. Also, people saying I'm autistic, maybe I am. But that shouldn't be the reason why I get made fun of. It's actually really wise. There's plenty of things you can make fun of me for. Oh, big grab. You're so dead now. I told you, 3-0. 3 on a handshake. 3 on another selfie. 3 is I'm just going to smile and be like, hey, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> uh, this, I, I will say, well, let's look at his bracket path really quick, off screen. Who did Zuppy beat to get here? Because, like, you get a top 8 at a tournament like SmashCon, which is, by and large, the biggest tournament every year. Look at the amount of attendees, you dumb bastard. 4,300. Nobody said anything to you. I'm talking to you. Why am I, what, are you Philip DeFranco? What does he do that? He goes, uh, hey, what's going on, on, you beautiful bastard? Oh. I'm Phil DeFranco. Well, I didn't say the first I mean, you've part. been filled in. Uh, 4,300. That's so many. Yeah. That's Not, crazy. I mean, I have the biggest tournament of all time, but it's up there for sure. What do you mean? I have the largest tournament by attendees of all time. Which one? LACS4. No, it's not. By attendees? Yes. 4,300 people were not at LACS. Well, it was for Melee specific, so there wasn't 4,300. I believe it's 2,500, 2,600. Okay, well, I'm talking about the whole event. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Gull. Are you talking about the online one? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, this is, this is brick and mortar, hand to fist interactions, and that's a big deal. So you go to a tournament this big. He beat Zuppy beats Dreffen, who beat Kalindi. That's pretty good. He Zuppy beat, beat Dawson, who had a hell of a run. And then Kadoran. Which is a big win. Kadoran is the DPS check of Marth. Yeah. Um, to beat Kadoran's huge. So just pretty, pretty big, big beef. Uh, and has beat Hungrybox, but only online. He also beat, like, the Super Instant. What I was saying is that Zuppy had a very honest bracket. He had to play Samus's. He had to play other foxes. He had to play Puffs. He had to play Marth. He had to play Sheik. Fundamental Dreffen Sheik. 
Um, and I think that's really impressive. Oh, he was trying to do some instant ledge grab stuff. Dude, hard, look, this game was so Jover the moment that he did the selfie. I, I, I predicted this from a mile away. But what if he wins it? He won't. Okay. He has no chance. <laughs> I think it's crazy to say no chance. He plays cheater controller. Doesn't matter. The mental game has been lost. I, I, look, I was I was saying one wins earlier, so I do agree with you fundamentally, but not for the reasons you're saying. I think the only way he would win is if he goes down some tremendous amount. One stocks to two with high percent, makes an amazing comeback with a sick combo, and then hits a huge momentum shift. Someone said, that's why is land so much different than online? Genuinely, like, there is a, an amount of, like, lag that is perceived online that does interfere with the game a little mm. bit. I, I, It's just the truth. But I think this is not... Land melee feels better, this, but... This is not specific to melee. This happens in, like, every esports. But it's still worth mentioning. But in addition, being in the room, on the stage, with the heat and the sweat and the butt, it's different. It's different from being in your room in your fucking underwear in your goon cave, just fucking running through bracket, brother. It's the same reason that, like, the SAT is harder than, like, some practice SAT you do in your home bedroom or something. That's right. It's the it's the pressure. And people like HBox have been doing this since damn since some of you were in damn diapers. Or if you guys play high school sport, or did, if you do, like, PKs and soccer and practice for fun, you're just a fucking electric and then you're in the game. Play a little PK, worse. of course, as everyone knows, means... What is it, Slime? Go ahead. As everyone Just may know. P and K. It starts with a P and a K. And it... When, it, it's, a, when it's a personal kick... That's it. Is it? No, penalty kick. <laughs> not bad, though. Someone asked, did you ever score a PK, Dubbin? Uh, no, I, I was not allowed to take him. <laughs> oh, what a read. This is possible. He was off for the rest, though. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not possible at all. Oh, he gets there. Yeah. S smile, nod, fist bump. Get off the damn stage, Zuppy, and never take a selfie before your match again. selfie was a problem. It's it, so it was such a problem. It's so interesting that you would see the world this way. You know what it reminds me of? In Vinland Saga, Ari is a minor character who's accompanying Thor as part of the Yom's Viking. Okay. And Ari's ex never been to war. And Ari's like, oh and my can't God. drive and all Can't drive, yeah. no hose. And he's like, oh my God, we're going to go to battle. It's going to be so fun and exciting. Like, I can't wait to battle. I'm going to have such, like, a cool story to tell my kids. Okay. And then Thor's, who's been to war, is like stone faced. Yeah. And it's like, and like, Ari's basically taking a selfie, like, on the boat. They get into their first battle. Ari instantly gets his shit pushed in. He dies? He doesn't die. He just, like, he gets, like, his weapon and fucking and thrown aside, disarmed, and he's knocked on the ground. It's punk. And he's useless. Yeah. Because he's just not ready. He's on the right war mindset. will punk you. War will punk you, and he's not on the right mindset. Why aren't they playing the Switch version? This is on Switch. <laughs> they play, yeah, this is on Switch. They play it with the Switch. So right. it's like that. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you. it's, uh, you know, that's why the young are so good at war is because they don't know what they're up against yet. So they're willing to charge in with bayonets and be like, <laughs> Young Pharaoh, look at this god body. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Silva could have could have been our war fighter in Afghanistan, but he wasn't. He could he could have stopped it sooner. Is Vinland Saga good? What is this shit? Is this just what you've been watching? Did all hail Goon change? It? Yeah, Vinland Saga is my favorite show. I thought it was. Uh, well, to NHK. Yeah, that's also my. For your lie in April. No, it's not my favorite show. Wait, it's true. All hail Goon changed his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why you change your oh, name, brother? No, there's nothing to be ashamed of. All hail goon! All hail boon! Now, what's wrong with Bagoon? Oh, why are you changing? There's no reason for this. Oh, that's crazy. What's the problem? Oh, and you can even see in the glasses the reflection that says goon. <laughs> yes, sir. We love that. Keep that for the culture. You shamed this this I poor didn't shame man. Shame anyone. You, you scared this poor man out of changing his... I just brought to light oh, what the word means. Man. The Twitch link probably doesn't even work. <laughs> oh. All hail Boone. Hey. Oh, there we go. 
Welcome back. Wow. I'm rebranding. Look at this stream. <laughs> Goon is dead. That's funny. Wow. And there, there was a funeral service for Goon. <laughs> I did this? You did this. You caused this. Oh, Th yeah. Three it, reasons to switch. It got worse. That's First really funny. Sleep deprived podcast. Can you guys hear this? Yeah, apparently sleep deprived talked about this. Hard. What would hard. these fuckers? What, what did I do? Is, is, did I update my title? My title's updated, right? We learned about yeah, gooning. So rebrand is broken. Our gooners. <laughs> this is how we send them off. Whenever one of us gets lost. <laughs> whenever, whenever one of us finally blows our load. Finally blows the load, you it's time to go. We'll see you on the other side, Gunner. God, a goon... I, I would like to see a subreddit dedicated to goons breaking edge. I don't think it's an edging thing. I think no, Nick no, no, was like cap a, cap a Oh, wait, you think they actually... Yeah. I think he spoke out of turn. <laughs> you think he, he got a little too chirpy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe that. But... Ooh. Ugh. I played. Uh, have you played Neon White? I think you'd like it. Neon White. It's a video game. So funny. Right now. Yes, yes, Chef. Yes, Chef Lovin. Neon White. It's uh, it's like kind of like a speed game type of thing. Oh wait, yeah, I saw Donkey play. Why do you it? fucking watch Donkey play shit for? Why do you need to be fed slop instead of make your own fucking idea? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Uh, I thought I I've been playing it a lot. It's really fun, but I, I know, I'll I just see what, up my see what he says about it. You are not going to be content with the silver medal. You are not going to be content with the gold medal. No, for even thinking that, shame on you. I want the blue medal. I this feel like I'm insane for thinking Ducky isn't funny. Like I think I I feel like I'm an insane person. Every time, every time I get this look, I get this look in people's fucking eyes. Uh, I hate it. I hate being alone. Maybe I'll just start lying. Dude! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, who loves this game? Alfred loves this game. But uh, what I'm saying is playing it a lot, but I fucked up my back because I was playing it so much. Played like 10 hours straight. How'd that fuck up your back? Because I was like hunched over like a ghoul. <laughs> what? I was thinking. You need your little strappies. You might like it. It's a high skill cap game, and it's one you grind, and I think you would have fun. Is it good for stream? Uh, I don't know. That's up to you. Is it good for stream, guys? I don't. I'm not a streamer. The story parts just skip. I appreciate that they spent time putting a story in there, but Jesus Christ, I don't care. Yeah, German can stream anything because he's German. Some people are different. Ludwig needs to lean on something. What? Why do you keep doing this? We're talking. I'm having a conversation with chat. Yeah, I don't like the conversation, I think, is my problem. <laughs> Woo! Let's give it up for our hey. moist moguls. Loki, a crowd favorite, yes. is that one, he's always like interacting in some ways. Yeah. He's really I like structure. Volatile, so like sometimes he can no, I know. I think you're good. I think you're a good trainer. We went to do axe like throwing. Instantly, I run a bracket. Approaches, that is so funny. That's what like Miles was saying. Miles came back. He's like, Ludwig's really like good at making the hangout not be four hours long, but instead a really banging 90 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, that's important. I gave it some structure. Yeah. Because if you don't structure, you either do nothing, fuck all, jerk your dick till you leave, or you have some Australians start making shit up. You play. You were playing Birio till 2 a.m. No heart in it. No soul. Just, just to get some laps in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is it. Our moist moguls are here. Zane versus Moki. They're both moist which, moguls. Which one do you like more? I think I like the. I like which the one do you like more? Equally. Here's the thing. I have no bias. I would never say I want one to win. I don't want the other to win. So we're yeah. However, I want maximum success for the Moist Moguls, and my dream is the Moist Moguls Grand Final. The best path for that, in my mind, is Zayn winning, because if Moki loses, he goes on to play Amsa. Which one do you like more? Well, I'm telling, I'm answering your question. Overall, <laughs> which one of them? So, 
it would be better if because the moist grand finals is the dream because then you can just shut off the stream and go jerk your jerk your balls. i would jerk my balls off in the bathroom and i'll just let the stream play with chair reaction <laughs> It doesn't matter. We win either way. Uh, and I think if Zane goes to losers to play Amsa, he might just get out. Which one do you like more as a person? Oh my god! It's gotta be Moki. Fuck. <laughs> I think the true answer for Ludwig is whoever has more social media presence. No. Because you're a fucking evil capitalist not pig. true. Because you're a oinking capitalist I'm pig. I'm oinking. Oinking for us. I'm a fit pig, if anything. I'm like a, I'm like one of those truffle searching pigs. I'm a working pig. <laughs> We're a working pig, with with good muscles. Okay, so he gets clipped by it. Uh, Take long game. I'm I'm always an underdog guy, so it's definitely Moki Bears. Yeah. Yep. I mean, Moki has never beat Zane. <laughs> I actually felt so bad. Oh! Wow! Wow! That was cool. I wish I was last stock. I felt so bad. I went up to Zane. It was after uh, the Pontins tournament where J Mook's controller like basically broke, and he beats J Mook easily in grands. And yeah. Zane is sitting on a chair at the end of the tournament, just kind of sad. At, he won the tournament, by the way, and everyone's like hanging out talking. And I, I was like, "What's up, bro?" He's like, "Hey." I, was, I went up to him and I was like, went into his ear. I was like, "Nobody's impressed." And then he's like, I know! No one's impressed! This sucks! He was so sad for not getting, like, a clean win. And I was like, damn. Why would you say that to my son? What a competitor. Because we're friends. Don't talk to my son ever Are you friends with Zane? Yeah. Oh, that was cute. I'm friends with my son. I love him. <laughs> well, I'm friends with your son, too. Ooh, that was really clean. I like that. Why is Zane not moist? He looks like he just sniffed that water. I think because they pull the API from Smashy G and he hasn't changed it on that yet. But if you look at his clothing, he is moist. He's wearing the derby. He's wearing the jersey. He's wearing the Mogul Moves jacket. He's wearing the Gucci shoes. Like, my boy gets dressed up for success. Dude, Ludwig has crumbs all over his derby. No, I don't. It's so funny. It's a croissant. You're just such a gamer. It's a, it's a flaky croissant. <laughs> Zane does look cool. I like the grown out hair. Yeah, I like it. It's a good look. He's handsome. He is extremely handsome bear. He looks like a like a like, a, like what? He's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful prince. He does look like a beautiful prince. I've been reading the Song of Achilles. That's why I laughed. What's the Song of Achilles? It's a You've been reading? Super gay story. Is it a manga? Uh, no, it's a book. Okay, I just. I didn't know if you you can read things without pictures in them these days. It's a super gay book, and what do you mean gay? Like, is gay love in it or something? It's mostly about gay love. Yeah. So when I was thinking about Prince, I was thinking about that. You know, Adonis was a little twink boy. Really? Yeah. I don't even know the word. I only know it as like a a manly way to describe. You're a Greek Adonis. Yeah. No, he was like a he was like a like a little twink boy. That's so. Cute. And he was he was dating a cougar. Wow, that is a Donis activity. Venus, actually. Oh, oh my God, he gets back. Yeah. So no, he's really good at capitalizing off of chances like that, bitch. That was so beautiful. I didn't mean that. And we're also not mad with Moki to swell here, huh? We're not mad with Moki to swell. No, I like Moki bears. Moki bears. If you guys don't know, I've been a huge Moki believer since the beginning of the year. Actually, for pretty much when years, me and Ludwig uh, no, you commentated. Take, you can get more OG cred than that. Whoa! Keep you. Um, but I, at Genesis, I called I called it on the Foresight Fight Show. I was like, this is Moki's year. You're all going to see. All you, all of you meatballs will see. And uh, then Moki got like third at Genesis. Mm -hmm. Starting to take some real scalps, you know. He got ranked fifth, which is super high. Uh, he's over Hungrybox. He's over. Oh, I think he's over Amsa. Is that possible? Uh, yes, Amsa's kind of low. He is. I think he's seventh. He's definitely not above Moki because Moki gaps him. Head to heads matter a lot. Okay, this is a big game. You really gotta win this one, Moki. Yeah, they're probably talking about FD on commentary and about how oh, if Moki loses its two FD games. Nah, they're talking about the game. Oh, yes, get up attack! Yes, Moki Bears! Moki Man! Mo Why wouldn't you shine, you damned idiot? Uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, you're dead. Oh my god, he's not dead! Oh, great on He's so much smarter than I am. Moki Bears. No jump? Oh, he's got a jump. I didn't think he had one. Oh! 
Okay, yeah, wow, you have to focus place four here. times, grab place four times. Wow! You have to focus here. The sword's too long. Uh, not this time. He missed? Oh my god. Wait. I've never seen Zayn miss so much shit. But also the patience after missing the down tilt to wait for the spot dodge on the grab. Like, he knew that beat timing intrinsically. Like, he, yeah. could, he could not have thought about, like, oh, I'll wait for him to spot dodge to grab. He just played Moki so much that he knew that. Yep. Damn, live replays? Yeah, that wait right there. Damn. Oh, it's such a Moki Moki Nation L because you have to you have to win on FD twice. It's just kind of fucked. No, it is fucked. It is fucked. That's it's doable though. It's doable. Like this is a this is a Manka S or uh, sorry a Resident Sleeper game. No, I actually disagree. And uh, Zane is Bing chilling. I think you're thinking like even if he wins this, it's GG because the two FD games. But yes. Moki Mo Moki won one before. He could win too. I sleep. I sleep until it's game five. Especially if he if he gets a nasty like momentum conversion here by getting like a three stock. Doesn't matter. Dead ass. You're such a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just pragmatic. I guess I believe in Moki. You're not I, pragmatic. This is this is the actual equivalent of taking a selfie. And the, like this was, but it actually matters. People confuse pragmatism for for cynicism, and I and I don't want you to fall for that. Do you know who you're talking to? Yeah. I do. <laughs> All right, Moke the Bears. I think you're right, though, and I think that's wise. I know. I have a lot of wisdom in my bar body. I like it. Nice. I mean, Zane's just doing a reverse fair on shield with shield grab. Like, he himself is checked out of this game because he's thinking about FD. And he's how, not playing well. And how tasty it is. Yummy. Ooh, but you want to close it out. You want to close it out soon. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to give Zane any momentum here. Yeah, that would suck to get three out here. Whoa. There we go. Ooh, Nair shield, shine shield grab. I can do that. You can. But you won't. Ooh, I can't. I, can, I also live this. <laughs> you live this? Just like that was really Yeah, smart. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> it is MXM. Oh, oh, look, Gimmer. Gimmer talking to you. Gimmer! Do you prefer M M Moist or MXM? I'm MXM pilled. Gimmer. Thank you for asking, Gimmer. Yeah, Gimmer's a real one. Gimmer's letting us fuck, guys. Man, I hope Zayn closes this one out. MXM. BMXM. All right. FD. The stage that honestly ruins commentary. Why? Because every fucking time Zayn plays a fox, it is brought up. And talked about ad nauseum. I don't ad nauseum. That's why I'm a good commentator. Because I just say it's on the table and I leave it at that. Yeah. And it's not like wrong to talk about, by the way. It's just very, but it's like it's every tournament. And I don't watch that many tournaments, so if I'm sick of it, I know other people are sick of it. Yeah, but you're also a hardcore head. You know what I'm saying? Some people need to be explained why the octagon is difficult. You know what he says about this it's in All we need is Moki to do one crazy thing to him. Oh, look at Zane. It's just not committing, bro. He doesn't have to. He's Zane does what uh, Melania does in Elden Ring and just input reads. Ooh. Does that apply to, to Zane or all of them? Gimmer's asking. Uh, all, 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 all moist. Oh, excuse me. Not for uh, for ultimate. Ultimate is just moist. MXM is moist moguls. In the meeting. Oh, that was crazy. You got to do that one. Did he tech? Yeah, he tech back like and then wow. got canceled and he could jump. Wow. Murph could have been there. Nice. Yeah, any knockdowns are so brutal. Instant up B. So they, they do the instant up B to save their jump, right? Uh, It's it's a mix-up. Yeah, but it saves your jump. I don't think so. I think you burn your jump. No, no, no. Not if you do a soft input up B. I was about to say, like, actually that last talk contained... Right, chat? Back me up here. Like, Any Fox mains in the chat? Because I play Falco, yeah, and I can't be up being. <laughs> That'd be... Ooh, That'd be okay, okay, suicide. That's a great edge guard. Loves, right? That's crazy. Okay, now, this Ooh! Could have down aired there. Back air to back air. If he lived, that would have been really bad for Zayd. All right. Still winnable. He does nothing on invincibility. Sad. Tries to bait out a grab. Does. But just gets knocked down. I mean, he's just losing to like retreating there. 
Oh. Oh, no. Can you make magic happen, Moki Bears, right now? All right, he needed, man. The, he needed a lot off that. He needed the world, and he got. he's getting nothing. Why did he back throw? It looks like he's going for a Shine Gimp. Junebug's on commentary right now. Junebug is so fucking good at this game, by the way. Yeah. Was it Double Down last year? He just played Doc and got, like, 13th or something. It was crazy. Maybe it wasn't that high, but it was really good. He's a sheet player. Okay. It's basically curtains because of the percentage, but... Uh, yeah, tech that, uh, that back here. Oh! Okay. Zane gives him one. This could be huge. That, that, that was a bit of a mistake from Zane, but I think it's GG. Dub in. So. Imagine. I'll imagine. He needs one grab. <gasps> there it is. Do this yesterday against Agebox. Yep. Had one last oh, so what Zane did right there oh, is he faded back oh, just enough because he has to fare to protect himself. Zane's Moki knows this. But Zane faded back and just perfectly. So where you combo back, you cannot punish. Maybe on a box you can punish because your turn, your dash is just so quick. That's you, guy. Do you guys say goodbye to Moki? No, no. Okay. Well, you so, guy, I guess I go home now. And, and then we'll talk about this. Yeah. Try sure. to make a reservation at a restaurant. And you can only make a reservation of six. And I call in and I go, hey, I've got a large group. Oh, wait. Son of a bitch. What's the inside this? That's a, it's a pain au chocolat. Oh. How many times I got to say I don't watch anime, bro? But bring it up. Chocolate. All right, Zane wins. Moki drops down to losers to play Omsa, which is good. Good for Moki Bears. Good for Moki in the sense that this is a... Is Mango actually trying? It's yet to be seen. Uh, me and Linus are going to do our, our challenge soon. What are you playing him in? He gets picked three of the games. I get to pick two. Uh, is Linus a gamer? Uh, I think he's like an OG gamer. He plays like fucking Anno 18 million and like Beat Saber. Quake Live and shit. Yeah. Um... Okay, Moki's bracket's kind of tight because he plays Amsa. He plays the winner of Hungry Box and likely Cody Schwab. Ah, we don't know. So that's Cody Schwab. So if, the, dude, if Mango loses to Cody, it's such a wrap for Mango. It is. But my predicted bracket is Moki playing uh, Amsa and then Cody and then Losers Finals, probably Mango or Zane. Probably Mango. So. If he beats Mango, which he was very close to doing last time in Losers Finals, this might be a repeat. What was that yeah. tournament? Um, fucking LACS. No, definitely not. Dubbin Ombers Convention Series. What was the one where it was Mango versus Zane? Was it Gommel? Mango Zane Grand Finals, and then yeah, but this could be the time Moki beats Mango. There's never been a better day to beat Mango. <sighs> I ruined his tournament. Do you know this? What happened? Mango was supposed to go on a 6 a.m. flight to Chantilly, oh, yeah. Virginia, or yeah. wherever the hell. I don't know why he's going so early. I don't know why either, but I guess maybe time change. Like, you have to do an early flight, and he had something to do Thursday night, I guess. The Wednesday night before his flight, I invite him to come hang out. And he's like, he's like, oh, I got a flight. I want to stream. I feel, I'm going to have five days off. I don't want to miss a stream. I'm like, I'll gift you subs. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, 90. I'm like, cool, Leffen's coming. He's like, okay, 100. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I like how you said 90 because you knew he'd up, the, uh, he'd up it. Yeah. That's a mogul move. So we, I pay him out. He comes to hang out. That's $500 to hang out with Mango. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. We get dinner. Well, I owe him like probably $30,000. That's a different conversation though. I've never paid him out for a tournament ever. No, he's not, receive, he's not giving us his W9 for a tournament. I, I know, but intentionally. That's such bullshit. Anyway, uh, he comes to hang out. Uh, we we get dinner. We we get a birio cart tournament going. Uh huh. Is Shake involved? Shake's involved. Ugh. He gets washed. It's so typical. He's really bad at it. He's so bad. You know what he's good at? Not birio. I was asking you. Like, do you know what he's good at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we play birio. Uh, Shake gets washed. <laughs> Mango's in it. We're all drinking. Uh, Yingling wins with an asterisk. What's the asterisk? He threw up during the tournament. Ugh, that is an asterisk. It's an asterisk. It wasn't going down right for him. Yeah. So he threw up to boot and rally, which, you know, I respect the rally. Like, I want to keep playing. You have to rally. But, you know, it, every, no one's, no one's going to look at that win and be like, yeah, that was a legit win. The history books will say, but. And afterwards, 
part of the challenge was if you are last in your pre, take a shot or, or uh, jump in a pool. Uh, Mango starts jumping in a pool. Uh, dick and ball out. Dick out, ball out, other ball also out. Crazy picture Aiden has on his phone of just Mango's bare ass. It is a, it? It's so funny. Mango's bare ass just out there for the world to see. Yeah. Uh, and it ends up staying right up until like like 1 a.m. Because like Cutie, Cutie was coming home, right? Yeah, yeah. And you were like, you guys got to clear out. And Mango's just fucking balls out he's like why well uh, because they were balls out that's why they had to clear out yeah. they had to clear out because they were so drunk they They're, were getting balls out cutie and them are en route and mango's like why do i have to leave i don't want multiple <laughs> balls out gamers in the house uh so they leave and mango gets home probably like 1 2 yeah you know and then his flights at six obviously sleeps through it mango's the goat of missing flights actually that's such a he's actually not I I was literally in the fucking what was that tournament I went to? It was Battle of BC. I see him. It says Joseph Marquez, please come. I had the same flight as him. Joseph Marquez, keep, please come to the desk. The flight is leaving. I took a picture and sent it to him. I was like, "Ops asked where you are." I told him I don't know. <laughs> I think well, I say that because he intentionally will be bad. Like he'll pick and choose when to be bad. But like sometimes he'll show up to the airport two hours early. He's like, such a mysterious man. Because he, he loves showing up to the airport early to get an uh, airport beer. That's true. And so he. But they're not serving beer at 6 a.m. That's why he doesn't want to oh, go to that flight. You know wow. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he'll miss flights that don't have the option for an airport beer. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then if he's on the plane, he's getting three max. Flight attendant's like, yo, you got to stop beer. He's Southwest. Man. He's got his business. He's like, I got my drink voucher. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to add, like, anyone else sober? You know what he does? He he brings yeah. his iPad and he watches Let's Seinfeld uh, with, <laughs> no, with no headphones on. The kind of fucking asshole? Yeah. No, he, he, he Miles said he keeps it respectable. Okay. That is crazy It's of him. very funny. He has a lot of really nice headphones that he uses. So, okay, guys, to contextualize this, Mango's the GOAT. He plays Falco. He plays in an interesting way that is many would consider cool. He's been playing for a long time. He's got an electric personality. He's definitely the crowd favorite. You're going to forward smash that one. You're going to laser your grab lead. And so Cody is a very by-the-book fox that is extremely cracked out, extremely difficult to beat. I disagree with this. He's difficult to beat. He's not a by the book fox. He has made the book fox. I think he's he the best fox. He has made the book, yeah. He's the best fox in the world. Yes, I would, I, would, I would say he's the best fox in the world right now. Um, and, but the funny thing is Mango and his ancient Wu-Tang drunken boxing style often still beats Cody Schwab. So it's this kind of like this magical part of the game that still lives on in the idea that this guy who won't go to the airport unless the bar is open can still beat someone who has just mastered the Fox the character. Beats him a lot, by the way. The set, the set counts 20 to 4. And that's why that's why these kind of sets, plus it being Fox Falco, the nature of it is really fun. They're electric. And that's uh, and that's why he's my goat. And no, like, make no mistake, I think Cody's impressive, and I respect what he does in the setup. But man, Mango just—he makes my heart swell. Sloppy edge guard today, though. Happens. <laughs> and it also makes me cope. <laughs> my heart cope. Oh, yep, that'll do it. Uh, Fox can just kind of run in front of you and make you throw out a move, and then you're like, uh oh, it's Babettios, and he grabs you. So Cody didn't turn around there. Jab's kind of weird. Oh, wow. so this is the new meta. I've been calling this out since LACS. Everyone just holds shield now. I've been doing that. You are bad at the game. Wow. Everyone holds shield for like 10 moves, and then they act out of it. Why don't they just grab? Because that's not expected anymore. The Yomi has circled around. Now people are just going to start grabbing, and the shield will go away. And then what, and then what beats the grab? Uh, more holding the shield. No, no, no. Because... Oh, if you just grab, then you just do a move right after. Because mm -hmm. the grab takes frames to come out. Attack, shine. Yeah, you shine on a shield. Spot dodge, perhaps. <laughs> All right, last talk. It is the Street Fighter influence. Mango's, Mango's a, a proud silver Ryu player. You know what's interesting? I'm looking at the stats right now. Oh, shine that, you fucking asshole! Sorry. He needs to shine that. And he's a fucking asshole. Ma Mango? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look! Hold yeah, the shield, yeah, yeah, weapon! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I guess when you know he can't grab two, right? Because he's like jumping around yeah. and everything. Here we go. Okay, oh. yeah, it's hard to extend that one. Did the up tilt not come out? <sighs> that was a really good down tilt. Cody probably cleans this up. 10% chance Goat wins here. <laughs> That's your Goat. <laughs> That's my goat. Zane would never. <laughs> that's my goat. Oh, that's nice. uh, okay, the set count, 20 to 4. Yeah. 83% of them won by Mango. The game count, much closer. Interesting. 66 to 33. So it seems like a lot of the game or the sets that, that Mango wins are, are close ones. Oh, my God. Cody gets his games in. Ludwig Smash Invitational. Final bracket, 3-0. All right, Mango cooking it up. Because I think the way the way you can see the game at this level, like Falco, he has all the answers and all the tools to beat Fox. And he's kind of just like, if he if he has a, a read on the situation, you can still win. No matter how fucking cracked the Fox is, you can still make magic happen on the setup. And that's beautiful. It's not Jover. Don't say it's Jover. It's game one. You said it was Jover. Yeah, it isn't Jover. If Mega loses two, it's Jover. I don't believe in his gumption to come back, his moxie. Uh, he probably goes Doc game three if it's 2 -0. That's how I feel. And then we're in trouble. Or as, plays as like a, a nation. Doc. And then he has to play H-Box, and he just, he really doesn't want to do that. He does not want to play H-Box. H-Box is his kryptonite these days. Ooh, he's, he is the one person keeping H-Box alive in top eights. Because H-Box kind of gets washed by a lot of people <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. But, but, but he has the GOAT's number. Once he gets the juicy mango pick, he's like, ooh, <laughs> it's a good run for me. Yeah, he starts licking his lips. Nice. What's the last tournament Hungrybox won? You're, you're the stats guy. It's been a while. Wow, it is bad news, Bears. It's fine. We're fine. This is any look. This matchup is so fucked up. It's it. You might as well start with one stock each, dude. Ah! This is bad. This is really bad. This is a this is a Cody. This is a Cody dub. I was really good by Cody to forward smash to read the side B because you can still connect with the edge guard if he doesn't side B. Oh yeah, one smash factor. That was recent. Well, yeah. What? Oh, Mads in top eight. It was not his stack. It was a very light tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you taking away from Wandy Biedma's accomplishments? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was like a regional. Typical esports owner. All right. Yeah, you got to do a low downer there. He reads the slide off. Very good. Oh, he needed that for momentum. Still got the combo going. This is really cute. Nice. Delayed back air. Hits his shield just a little bit. Okay, it was really smart to shield that, but he's got a fucking... He could have shined, but he was back airing instead because he knew it would send him off, but he mistimed it. It's weird timing. I'm telling you, his edge guard sucked today. A little off. A little off. He needs one more beer. One more airport beer for my goat. And let's get him cooking up. Someone get this man to the Chantilly airport. Let's get him chefing it up different. I like how Slime's pretending to know what happened. I literally called out everything that Mango did and why. I play Falco. It's not that complicated in a combo. Ooh, he needed that. That was a gift. Where are we going? Where are we going? Wow. Falling back air is scary, right? Can't you, like, kind of w wiggle out? Yeah. It's at that percent, too. You're kind of fucked. If you can just wiggle out and, and do a move. Ooh, saved by the transformation. Down. Cody's upset. I think that slope fucked up Mango. It made the wave dash a little wonky, and he couldn't get the shot. He was gifted so much by the transformation. You can't talk about what it's taken I mean, away from he, him. He also got gifted as SD, so... He's won the trade. Nice. He called out a roll that didn't even need to happen. Cody's like, I'm gonna tank that to the face. It's gonna be weaker because I ran forward. Another difficult thing too is like the lasers don't really work as well at, at uh, playing a player like Cody. Like you have to place him so brilliantly. Ooh, just turn around. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> you powered up on that there. Yeah, because it was it was a precarious situation. You get burned if you put your leg out or do anything, and he chose the exact right thing. The dots below the player cam are ports, so you can see like in the bottom of the actual gameplay that Cody's on the far bottom left because he's for first port as well. Yeah, if you I don't know why they have know no the ports. characters they played. I guess yeah, maybe that's the only reason. Uh, doubles as well. Uh, okay, all right, close this out. Nice shine in. Ah, uh, dude, Cody is so good to jump out at that laser. 
he waits a frame and he's getting forward to forward Mango tilted. There is no character Mango's better at reverse 3 0 than Fox. He did do it to Moki like three weeks ago. That's what I'm saying, bro. But he, matchups, he's got to win this one. He's got to win this one. That was so Dude, what a bait. What a bait. Okay, he gets ledge here. Oh, he did a bad up B. Mango never edge guarded. Oh! Talk more shit. He's got, he never edge guarded his life, Marquez, is what I was going to say. He looks like shit out there. <laughs> you paid $500 to hang out with him? I guess you can say that. I've gifted him 8,000 subs. Really? How much money is that? $40,000. Over time? Over life? Over life. Dude, that is so <laughs> insane. That's such a big cut to Twitch. It's insane. It's a lot of money to Twitch. <laughs> oh my god, he shined that. That would have been a crazy combo otherwise. 40,000 is nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> That's, you know what? You get shit for like, you know, I'm the real Mango fan or whatever. 40,000 is a lot of money. I, look, I, I think I think you're truly a Mango fan. I think you Money aside, that. channel points, I crush you in. <laughs> month subbed? Oh, I think I've got you beat in months. How many? Um, like 60. <laughs> what? Yeah, you got me crushed, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm at 82. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Oh. See, that's what Mango's, Mango's a cult of personality to where we know the amount of months we're subbed to him. He's our Clint Stevens. It's because I watch him, and I, I renew my sub every month. I watch him. I put him on the big screen with the boys. Is Mango fan a fraud? No, I'm just, I'm just not $40,000 a fraud. He's just not the biggest Mango fan. Oh big. I'm big enough. Okay. You, you, yeah. you know what? I'll give you that. I'm loud enough. Sure. Sure. You got a cute enough face. That's it. Mm, <laughs> oh, that's a huge fuck up from Cody. Wow. Look at Mango giggle a little bit. Yeah, because he just meant the Firefox stall. He's usually ice cold on the setup, but you catch him giggling and you know the, the glint is in his eye again. And he loves gaming. He looks sh like shit, this stock. Cody's down tilts are brilliant in this set. I gotta say. Oh god, Mega looks so. Oh, there we go. Oh, how are you double laser there? How does he get away with it? Dude, he hasn't done anything. He got back. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, this is so difficult to deal with. Oh! Really cute. They're both missing. Check the setup, check the disc. I wonder if he buffered that and he didn't actually mean to get up attack. Because I do that all the time, and I'm the GOAT, too. Mm, this is scary. Scary times. Tournament Mango. life for your GOAT. <laughs> it is tournament life, because he plays HBox, and it's not going to go well. Uh, uh oh! Dude. No, he jumped! Mango goes down to Cody Schwab. Well done. Cody read his jump so many times that set. Yep. I'm here for the Schwabster. There we go. Schwab fans in the house. Yeah, that was... Look, I love Mango. I'm literally the Mango fan. You are. That was just a really solid game by Cody. Now we got... Oh, God, it's so it's so Jover for Mango. Maybe he maybe he charges up. No. No. <laughs> what if Mango goes Falco? I mean, look, I'll take a I'll take a peep at the stats. Yes, Ray Dunster. He's in loser's bracket, but he has to play HBox, who lately, in the past couple months, he has just actually thrown in the towel again. For being real... It's been like years. What are you All talking right. about? It's been one year, you damn fool. I think it's... You damn fucking idiot. You remember SmashCon? That was the last, last year. That was... I guess he also beat him at Summit. He beat him at Summit. I, I think this is online, right? Stats guy. Stats guy Stuffed is shitting World the Tour? bed right now. Is that me? Uh, Yeah. That was my event, right? That was, Dude, your event might have torpedoed the GOAT's career. Wait, why? He Because you, you forced him to come, essentially. He got winner's finals. Yeah, but he didn't win, and he was bummed out about it, and then he got ranked really low in his mind, and then he didn't try at Genesis, and he's been fucking reevaluating his relationship with competition, mm. all because he went to your fucking event. It's true. All because Panda fucked the bed. Panda did fuck the bed there. Look at the doc on the board, one and three. <laughs> hey. So apparently uh, the stats won't say it, and I guess we'll wait to get there, but I think... This is their hundredth set. That's beautiful. Uh, or, or they're either very, there might be very close to it. New Mango tweet just dropped. There's oh, definitely no. some fucking challenge brackets back then. Oh no! What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, Mango. Watched Zane beat Cody 100 games in a row and thought it'd be free raffle. 
That's a really funny thing to say. Uh, it is. <laughs> it is. I thought it'd be easy. <laughs> to be fair, it usually is easy for him. He statistically it is pretty favored. That's that's such a melee player thing to do is lose to a guy and then like mog him. Bit like talk about how bad he is when he plays other people. <laughs> Junebug's beard is actually super impressive, especially when he trims it. In during COVID, it was very unruly. I remember this, and then he trimmed it, and I'm like, man, it's just the best beard you could have. Mm. Junebug's also legendary because I played a lot of PM, which is a mod of Brawl, which makes it play more like melee. And uh, so there was this, the, the, there was this really good Ganon at the time because Ganon's really fun in that game, and his name was Red Ranger. Red Ranger was West Coast. And it was like this talk about like how how I'm the best Ganon and everyone else a pussy and all this stuff. It's like Ganon's a very manly character, right? It's like a lot of a lot of machismo going on. Junebug plays every character in that game. Junebug's playing Diddy Kong, winning tournaments, winning Xanadu's all the time. And he's like, actually, my Ganon's better. Didn't even main Ganon. Red Ranger comes over, plays Junebug, gets washed. His Ganon was better. And you're like, what? How? Well, I, I think Doc Lee's the best Dr. Mario in the world. I can... Uh, that's a good question. Can Franz beat Zuppy with Doc Lee? You What's know? Doc Lee's best win? Is it Zuppy? I think it's Zuppy. It says, like, two merged sponsors. The average sponsor count for this set is two and a half. That was just a piece of butter I ate. Franz has beaten Zuppy, half. LOL. <laughs> Maybe they're neck nice. and neck. They Please could be neck and neck. Mokey Bears! Mokey Min! Mokey Min! Mokey Min! Mokey versus Omsa. Um, All right. This is give it up for your moist mogul. Where's Nick Yangling, bro? He called me today and he was like, uh, I forget what we're talking about. We're talking about something. And he's like, let's give it up for our moist moguls. <laughs> I'm like, yes, sir. He said the thing. Mm -hmm. He said the line, Bart. There's no bigger moist moguls fan than Nick Yangling. Lem X Lem. That's funny. That's me. Guys, without... I don't want to look up the bracket. Can someone just tell me? Is Big D an ultimate yeah, to top eight? No. I'm asking chat. Okay, they said no. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, if I... Yeah, Japan crushed. Oh, wow. No Tweak? Did Tweak enter? Where's my goat? I've not seen Tweak in this tournament, but it's possible. Amza! What you, what's your sippy bears? It's a uh, cold brew with a little bit of toffee nut and half and half. It's not that sweet. I think it's a little heavy on the cream. Don't make a face. I like it. <laughs> But it's mine. The toffee nut tastes like cyanide. You don't know what that tastes like. You'd be dead. I've had some. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's the set count. Amsa has beat Moki one time ever. It was the first time ever and has never won since. Wow. Battle BC 4? Uh -huh. That was last year, right? Yeah. And they've played a lot over the past, like, six weeks. This is their fourth time playing together. Fifth time playing together, I think, because tipped off. I don't know when tipped off was. Uh, it was a couple months ago. It was it? Okay. They've, they've, they've played a lot this year, though. Uh, and um, uh, um, Amsa seems to keep running into him. said, I'm really tired of this guy headhunting Amsa. Not his fault, but every fucking time. It is kind of true. If you're an Amsa fan, it is frustrating. Amsa's dead here. 100%. Um, but it's also a fault of... It's also like you got nine chances to kill this guy, and you've only killed him once. Like, what does that mean? I think it's a fault of partly... Uh, you, I guess it's not even the character, because uh, he crushes other. No, forces. it's a matchup diff. It's just it's, a matchup. It's a Moki matchup diff. It's and just a Moki diff. Moki's, I think, believe his brother grew up playing Yoshi. Like this is the shit you played in, like the ancient caves of like the beasts. I'm also like, I'm down for people to be like, oh, the bracket was bad. I ran into like people that crushed me early. But if it's top six, you gotta stop complaining. Yeah, you. Everyone else is already gone. At that, at, if you're this deep in, you it, like. The meme, every, you're supposed to be able to beat everybody, applies. In addition, knowing that only two people can act absolutely mog you at all times, maybe three, you count like j or something, then that means you have only three people to study. 
which I think is easier than studying, like, you know, a general matchup. Because you have a lot more focused practice. But you know what? Axe once said, it is so hard to improve at the top, like, top 10 level. And you guys, you, you cannot comprehend how difficult it is. I imagine it's like RuneScape going from level 92 to 99. It's probably like that. Or like Vinland Saga, when Ocelot went to the war. You know, in RuneScape, getting from 1 to 92 is equivalent from getting 92 to 99. Or I guess 100. Yeah, it's kind of like that in WoW. Like your last 10 levels take a long time. On like, fun, 50 to 60. I've never gotten that high in level. I've never gotten a K. <laughs> Ocelot War. Which, what people is that? Oh, no. Wow, I thought that was I'll scroll for I'll scroll for you. But you can't left click. You see, because when you left click, it does that. It doesn't highlight? Your setup's beat. Disparage. I like it. All right, 118. We just need one shine up smash. Monkey bears. Yeah, he just makes it look so damn difficult. Well, he's really good at edge guarding. My mama says you're making a Yoshi as big as a damn bus. <laughs> hey. Not dead. Not dead yet. He can egg. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm with the crowd on this one. Wheat. There's wheat. Wheat. Give me that wheat. He seeds all these tournaments. If you got a problem with the tournament, you talk to that guy in the striped shirt Don't with the long hair. Don't do that. So we got Moki for oh, Wow. It's crazy the timing mix up for grab because it's so slow to come out. That you don't even wait that long. Yeah. Yeah, Amsa fans need to send their powerful energy now. Now! I mean, these grabs are crazy. Oms is really good at when he gets the follow-up, he doesn't let you go. Uh, a lot of it also reply, relies on jab resets, I think, though, which can be tough. Are, are these grabs new technology? No, they're just call-outs. They can't last forever. What if they can? Mm -mm. We're not infinite. Oh, God! He has such tiny legs. Falco's F-tilt there kills the fox. Nice coverage. Nice. Not looking good for Moki, but you know, we, we give him a game. He said, I don't play Smash, I don't know nothing, but I'm with Yoshi, let's go. I think that's a valid take. It's great. I do the same thing when I watch fighting games, like, I don't really understand. I'm just like, I want the most interesting person on the screen to win. When I watch stuff I don't know, I always root for the person who's losing when I tune in. Same. It's in our human nature, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I don't even fuck, and, and they might even be the favorite. But they were just That's losing when I tuned in. Yep. I'm like, all right, make it happen. And sometimes they'll start winning a little too hard, and now you want the other guy to win. 100%. Ooh, that was clean. He's crushing him on Battlefield. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm just playing insane. Um, I'm really wondering what the adaption will be from Moki. He also has had Better combat. stage. Better stage. Better stage, sure, but... Moki's also came back from stuff like this and beat Yoshi before in these matchups, so... If he wins this game, that's so sad. Yeah, it's demoralizing. He needs to do a stand in front of shield, wait, up smash. Oh, you're dead! Goodbye! Wait! And what I meant was, Amsa's dead. Goodbye! <laughs> Thank you, Max of the Month. 14 of them. <laughs> Ludwig's learning numbers. <laughs> Be patient with him. The eggs got range. Yeah, that's crazy. You can control them so well, actually. It's it's a really interesting projectile. Nice stars. Do you think it's the same? No, it's definitely different than like throwing items. It's definitely different, right? That person is dressed as Sheik holding a Yoshi. Tranquility, Zolo, Toast to Toast, thank you. Pick a struggle. They're dressed as Sheik holding Yoshi? Yeah. You don't get both. <laughs> you can have either. They're different universes. You could have both. <laughs> Would you rather live in Zelda universe or Mario universe? Mario. Because there's like big ass like food everywhere. Zelda universe is just like medieval strife and war. Yeah, but in it, Mario there's universe, no television. you like eat something wrong and you're tiny for like life. Yeah, that's fucking hardcore. Until hard. you can afford that's like That's hardcore. And then you could like live in a big pair of titties the, the, for the rest of your days. Zelda universe would be very in line with your current lifestyle. Floor sleeping? You get rupees. <laughs> you sleep on the floor. <laughs> you kill bugs for bigger purses. 
Loki to hold on to all of his resources. The Mario movie changed my perspective on Mario's lifestyle and like world. Well, when, yeah, but the Zelda movie comes out, it's gonna you're gonna say the same thing then. No, because that, well, you went in the Mario movie and they're like selling cool items and shit. Yeah, there's, they're gonna. I like that. Be, they had an economy. You're gonna go to the bazaar. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and what? Buy a shield and then die at 25 of gonorrhea. That's not what they're gonna do in the movie. Well, they should, cause that's accurate. In the movie, they're gonna have like, like, ah, oh, would you like this Deku shield? You can defend yourself. <laughs> and then Liam Hemsworth is like, yes, I'm linked. I want it. Huh? <laughs> you won't have a voice. <laughs> huh? Uh, Toria? No one's getting gonorrhea in Mario Land. Is all I'm saying. I guess that makes it to me cringe. <laughs> Gonorrhea is the spice of life. Yeah. A lot of people have it. Okay. Well, it's curable, so have had it. No one, no one stays having gonorrhea. Isn't it herpes? Like fifty percent of the world has herpes. Not genital herpes. They all have like cold sores. Some crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. Which is just herpes that's still on your crazy mouth. though. Yeah. This is bad too. It's. It's chill. 90%, 80% of the world is herpes. Herpes is a, herpes is a, a, a virus that has been retconned to be shameful when it's really not. You think we shouldn't be ashamed of having herpes? No. It's fine. Should you be stressed? You can be stressed. You're, you're right to be stressed about anything. Can you be sad? Yeah, sure. But you shouldn't be shamed. That's not fair. What if you give someone herpes? Should you feel shamed? If you didn't know. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, you should. Because it's not fun. I'm just saying. I, hey, I'm respecting your opinion. I'm a herpes apologist. You know what? Someone give me herpes. <laughs> I'm going to prove it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the triple egg. Damn, this game. Just booping him on the head. This matters. This does matter. This is a big one. Down tilt is the name of SmashCon's game today. Cody's down tilts should be studied against Mango. They were really smart. Whoa! Big falling up air. That catches so much. And it's a good pop up. He needs to get a double jump armor off to even stop it. Going hop. He's no jump. Jab reset bears. He has to hold. Oh, what an angle! How did Omsa get sent left? He tries to go for it. Yep, that'll do it. Nice Shut job. What a smart option. How did Omsa get sent Loki left? That angle was Am so I crazy? Computer, analyze. Such a weird oh, he rolls onto the grass. Makes oh. it to Saints. Oh my god. Yeah, he just hit him from the right, right no, side. No, right here, right here. Such a long oh side my god, the angle. Right there. Is that uh, crazy? Frame by frame. Because Omsa came from the right, and then got they got sent opposite ways. I wonder if he hit him with a wow. back air, maybe? Because he didn't get sent very far. I think that's a back air. Because yeah. a Nair will... He's a higher enough percent, and Nair fucks him there. They just had to have crossed each other before either hit each other. So it's a Nair, Ruby June? Nair facing left? Okay. Who knows? Look, that's the beauty of melee is that we're dumb. So Omsa brings him to to FD. It was a back air. I love being right so goddamn much. It still doesn't make sense to me. Because back air can hit you either way. I it, yeah. I think maybe he was turned around and then he got hit and then it turned him around. It's just crazy they both waited long enough to hit each other that they crossed through each other. So it's in the opposite way. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird looking. But I didn't question it when I saw it. I question everything. Mm, Emperor's oh, Day. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what conspiracy you believe in? Um, there was one that I'm like really um, about, but I forgot what it was. So it's not that important, I guess. It's probably a benign one, like uh, Avril Lavigne actually being dead. That's benign? Yeah. I guess in the grand scheme, sure. Moon equal cheese. Epstein, that's that that one that one's real shit. That guy got killed in jail. 
Epstein one, and what's the other one that's like very common? The MLK one. What's that one? CIA killed MLK. It was the FBI, and they did. There's literally evidence. Uh, yeah, but have they admitted to it? No. So it's still conspiracy. You're right. <laughs> It, There's circumstantial evidence, yeah. I should say. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that one. The 60s were a very unchill time for government uh, federal agencies. Ugh. MK Ultra's real shit, too. But now we're getting into Joe Rogan territory. Oh! Moki's so good, and he laser bears him! <laughs> I haven't seen the JFK video from what's his name. Let me know. Someone did a video. Oh, my favorite content creator is exposing a presidential assassination. Mmm, ice cream so good. <laughs> He's End like your a life. YouTube documentary guy. <laughs> oh my god, that's it! Wow. What a set. You would love him. Would I? Let me know. I think so. I think you just like that type of content. I do like documentary. I'll play you one minute and then you make a call. Okay. The Kennedy assassination. Just letting you know. Why is Encyclopedia Britannica up? Right about here, in Dallas, Texas, American President John F. Kennedy it's was It's like a video game. Are you into it? Uh, I'd probably watch some of this. Is that your speech? I don't like the idea of being in, like, fed propaganda, though. What, it, what makes it propaganda? Because it's like, yo, have you seen that new video from the content creator about the assassination? Like, uh, I don't know. He's Dutch. I think I like more benign shit like Roman history. That doesn't really matter what I think about it. Because it's older? Because it's older. What's or the like, cutoff? I like Soviet Union shit. Because there's a lot. That to matters a lot. I know, but there's a lot to sift through. And I guess it's like. That's such a confusing. What, what I'll do. Is when I, I watch something, I'll watch like five documentaries on it and see what they decide to leave out, see what they put in, see what they line up on, and then I'll I'll draw my own conclusions based on all this mountain of like information. And if I'm really interested, I'll get a book. But like, this is no different than that. It's like, just the st step one of getting interested, making opinions, getting a book. I know the Soviet Union was past JFK, but I'm just saying something about. The, the hotness of, oh, the, guess what? This president who was assassinated was actually, like, a fucking federal operation. Like, that to me is, like, it wades into the territory of, uh, of like, baiting uh, sensationalism. When I don't, a lot I don't of know Soviet, if that's what it is. When a lot way. of Soviet-era, like, conspiracy shit, not even conspiracy, just history, is just really dry and boring and has to do with, like, you know, <laughs> Oh. He's still here? Oh He's been God. in that outfit for like two days, bro. Oh, uh, I think I looked it up. Mango H box. They got the 360 set up. There's so many Luigi's in the crowd too. They have not played much this year. They've actually only played twice, and it was at my tournament, LACS, where Mango got uh, oh two, two owed by him. Mango lost to uh, Hungry Box twice. <laughs> Amen. Shout out to Amen. the Ludwig Ogren oh, Championship Series 5 by Tua de Prius. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Yes. So, yeah, that's right. Put that title sponsor on. Smash Data. Oh, Amen. I get it. Yes. Amen. Mango initially. Oh, it's the doc. Wait. No. 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 If you need me, I'll be in the popcorn and, machine and we filled see with rubber ducks. All right, he's going to be in the popcorn machine with rubber ducks. Chat, could you give Mango your blessings of of Toth? Yeah, you 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 pill a lot, but do you think Mango will play the matchup? No. What are we doing here, man? Could you give Mango your blessings of tear? What are we doing? God, Jun, I. This shit's corny. Yeah, Mango. Oh man, that's a lot of fucking gas. Is that gonna smell? I don't want it to smell. I don't want it to smell bad. Stop! Don't fart into the blanket, man. You're on my fanny pack. Your ass is. You're farting. Move it. 
trying to find that fire again. Yes. You know, we are in the trenches right now, but what's no, I have a lot of goodies in there. I have a lot of goodies in there. Yeah, you want I brought one yes. for you actually if you want it. So just can't let it go. Yeah, if you want, it's really good. All right, we're in it. It's Dr. Mario versus Hungrybox. They've played one set before, uh, and it was a 3-1 uh, in Hungrybox's favor. Mango actually took a game. It's not... Oh, God! It smells bad. What does? Oh, dude, it smells really bad. Oh, shit. Oh, it smells really bad. It's... I want to watch this game. I want to watch the game. No, like my leg's fine. <laughs> I just want to watch the game. Hey. I I ate a torta this morning. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> that's usually good. Yeah. Is, it is went, uh, I ordered a torta uh, last night, and then I left it because I fell asleep, and then I ate it in the, this morning on the counter. And the thing is, I don't get food poisoning. So my body just manages it because it's a fucking Chad Adonis iron stomach. But someone must suffer. So, that's that's what it's about, you guy. Look, I'll say this much. If Doc Lee beats Hungrybox, we all eat our words. But, Jesus Christ, I don't think it can happen. He's lighting a match. Like Peach Fair or like... I think it's a sign of being unhealthy more than Chad. How is it unhealthy? I don't get sick. The fuck are you talking about? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? No, I don't get like stomach sick. Not a real mango fan. Look, don't don't say that. Shit. I've been I've been through the trenches, bro. I I went through all of 2017 wishing, wishing on a dream that it wouldn't be an Armada Hbox Grand Finals. And guess what? It always was. Except for Royal Flush. So eat my balls. I'm just saying, I've been, I've been through the, the real trenches. That was really bad. What, I, like, what if I told you it's not over? It's over. It's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's over. In my, you don't. More in my tank. Dude, it's so disruptive. Quit what? lighting fires. It smells up. like matches, which I like. <laughs> wow. Dude, I, 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 so here's my secret theory. I think if he wins game one, he goes he goes fo uh, Fox. I think if he loses game one, he stays Doc and loses the set. Not happening. He seems keen right now. He, he's sad he didn't get any extra credit there. So Doc actually has decent chances against Puff. Fair is a huge killing move, and you can get it off of down throw. But it's somewhat difficult with decent DI, and like Puff just outspaces Doc super hard. I like when she misses her rest, and you can caper for 70,000%. Yeah, there's just no point in going for rest as Puff. It's like kind of dumb. Oh my god. Because he's also kind of a small character to hit. You can just kind of outspace Doc and edgeguard him like a boss. <laughs> Dude, no, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry I said that. Oh, you did. sweet spot Yeah, he should have. But he's bad. Oh, it's curtains. But instead, he. It's curtains. curtains. It's so Jove. It's so Jove. No, it's the Yoshi game. It's the Yoshi game. Stop letting matches. Oh, stop farting. All right. I haven't farted since I was over there. You did like four of them. I lit four matches. It was a lot. I'm kind of him. <laughs> I'm him too with matches. <laughs> I don't like this matchup as Puff. I find it hard. What part? Doc can just really hit you hard, and like I don't have good enough spacing to not get hit by a really well-spaced fair. The Kobe. It just fucking crushes. 
Hail Mary Pierce. And they're working. All right, all right, all right. Even harder box. There's a reason. There's a reason. <laughs> Look, bro, I. Man. Fartimore says 1v1 like my doc right now, Ludwig. Fartimore, get your fucking ass out of this chat. So much end lag. Uh, um, go to your room. Whoa. No, it's what fine. We have history. Go to your room. Fartimore, what'd you do? Go to your room, young man. Fartimore, I would dust you. <laughs> Candidly. <laughs> Ain't nobody in this chat can beat me in this video game unless you're good at it. That's so true. Dude, I played randos for $100 if I won. They subbed. If I lost, I gave him 100 bucks. I played eight games. No, I think I played 10. 10 or 8. I lost two. And there were people who've been playing for like fucking six years. The only people are going to lose to aren't like viewers. They're people who did melee before watching me. Yeah. And everyone's like, damn, so I'm like, fuck it. I can't imagine Hold you being down. good. Hold down and get the trade. Yeah. It's not hard. I was so... That's worked out. Up. He's so good. It hit under the platform. That's wild. It hit under the no, platform. I didn't. Ali Hussein. That's just a lie. You can go check the box. When I had Zane off screen, I was picking him hard opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, too, when I do the challenge, it's like all the hitters come out the woodwork. And yeah, they're not they want a piece. They're not watching regularly. That, that they're salt, fucking little rats. Salt was in my chat. Yeah. Like one of the best oh. Falcons right yeah, now. Yeah, you're here all the time, Salt. Oh, great to it see you. It's literally again. first time I'm chat. My and ass. I'm like, okay. That's why it's a random uh, shuffle. Uh, that's why, yeah, I would I would do, you do one years only. Mm. You do one years, you get respectful, honest viewers. It's so strong. It's true. It is true. Right. The nair does get stronger the longer it's out. I don't know why people are laughing. It's wisdom. Oh, read that spot dodge. Sucks when Hungerbox starts reading you. Oh, we're live. Three back there. Man. Yeah, not enough percentage though. This extra credit. Not really. You want at least. Oh, big pill. Pills are a lot. Pills are a lot. They're like eight or nine. You want to put Puff in a spot where she's scared of the fair. That way, she has to be really cautious. Oh, my God. I could have been rest. But he yeah. knows he's dead if he does it. The hitboxes are also really small on Doc. I don't know. The rest is scary to me. Kobe. No, don't Kobe. Don't shield drop Kobe. Uh, spamming is great. Yeah, makes it scary. Ooh. He's missed that so many times. Sometimes you got to go for it. He's, he's a little predictable. He's a little predictable. It's so Jover. It's no, so obvious! I, I'm gonna, oh my god, Randall! It's so obvious. Ugh, god damn it. I just hate watching the fucking cutscene. <laughs> Said it was Jover. You think we'll be friends forever? <laughs> no. Why? I think there's a day it'll end. <laughs> oh. That's fair. Oh, it's Mark now. Mango's Marth. Better than Doc. Yeah, his Marth is well. Could, Marth is better than Doc. I would say his Marth relative to the skill level of Marths. Actually, no, his Marth's really good. But I think his Marth is very matchup dependent. Mango's playing these fucking top eight uh, brackets like he's playing like at the local when he's just you know wants to practice some characters, and I think that's cool. And I think if anyone does that, it's cool. I don't. I think it's cool. Cause, it, cause it, I, I think. Oh, so, so, so Mango is just a dancing ape for you in a dress that needs to do whatever you want all the time, and he needs to play his good character because he's no. a fucking. No, no. Because he's nothing more than entertainment. No, he, Sire. He can do what he wants. I just think that he's sheltering his ego. What do you know about that? Everyone does it. We all shelter our ego in certain places. I've never done that. You, you shelter your ego all the time. You'll shelter your ego in little arguments with your friends. Because you'll just look for the one place you're right. It's so... It makes me feel so safe. Uh, and so I feel like this tournament, he's been sheltering his ego. I think he even does a bit of posturing to shelter his ego. How so? Playing Doc earlier. Yeah, he's like, oh, I just play Doc. What are you talking about? And, and it maybe it's like oh he hasn't super prepared his his main characters and they wouldn't do that well. That's it, it's all you know. Yeah, I do I do think that it, the low tier option select or if you're a top player the 
alt character option select always is a winning situation. Because if you win, you're a legend who can do it with your off main. And if you lose, it's like, oh, I wasn't even trying. So this is this is why everyone hates mid tiers and low tiers, because it's like, oh, I'm just at a disadvantage anyway. But it is also a competitor's god given right to Hold play. Hold down! Like that. I, that one, I, I, it's hard to yeah. get. It, he's also aiming right. He's aiming the rest right on the hitbox. The reason why his aerials are so good. Because it depends on where you hit the rest. <laughs> no, you just hold down always. Goodbye. You can just hold down. It's not. Goodbye, Nango. You don't have to, like, pick. You just hold down. I don't think. If you hit him right, I don't think he can live that at that percent and to the side. No, no, you, that's what you hold down to die. I know, that's what I'm saying. What I meant was, I don't think he can get to the side at that percent. With the, way man, with the way H-Box rested the mark. You think it can only go <laughs> at that percent? Yeah, I don't think so. Who knows? I think if you hold straight down, I think I do. Impossible to tell. I think I've played Puff and I've rested off the right and they just die instantly and come back and kill me. Or at least for me. All right, fifth place for Mango, which means we're going to get Moki versus Hungrybox, the rematch, Ooh, the rematch, which is really good. It's Moki, good for both of them. Moki has his best bracket yet because he has to play H-Box into the loser of Zayn Cody, which is probably maybe possibly Cody, which he can beat. So this could be the Moist Grand Finals I've been dreaming. Don't let another match. I'm, it and doesn't smell anymore. Are you done farting? Yeah, you, you've made no. So then I'm not done lighting. But, I, but I'm not going to stop myself from being a biological human. And I'm not going to stop. It's like you're telling a woman to stop menstruating. This Would is, you do that? This is my menstruating. That's not your menstruating. This is, menstruating. This is a voluntary action. It's not. Do you think addicts voluntarily When Cutie's walking drugs? around menstruating, yeah. do you just light a match? That's disrespectful. First of all, what, what do you think is going on here? You're not menstruating. It's the same thing. No, it's not. You're trying to like take up the fight. You're denying my biologicalness. <laughs> all I'm doing is lighting a match. Why are you mad about it? Because you just keep doing it for no reason. I like fire. You just like fire. I just like honestly fire. just admit that. Da 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 da. All right, top four, baby. We're we're looking at. Oh God, it's so doable. It's so doable. The mo the moist grands. Because Moki crushed Hungerbox winner side. Yep. I don't think Hungerbox can do it. I think he's gonna camp his brains away and lose. I think Zane crushes Cody Schwab. I think he wants to play a fox because he can the win. I think M Moki beats Cody. This has happened many a time. Yes. And then we have Zane Moki Grand Finals. And then they... I'm going to DM him to, to do the Blueberry Strat. What is that? In the uh, hit novel turned cinema film Hunger Games, when PETA and Katniss are in the finals, they uh, swear they'll eat cyanide-laced blueberries to both die and leave no victor. And so the directors of the competition call it off. Oh. And they both win. Who's Victor? I in basically the, in, the, in the book. I want them to threaten to kill themselves. <laughs> so that Gimmer is like all right, they're both first place. They're both winners. Yeah. Everyone I, go home. And if they if Gimmer's like you have to play or you both get second, it's like, okay, we're gonna kill ourselves. <laughs> that would be an insane gambit to go for. It worked in the Hunger Games. Yeah. And that's a and that's a book, so you Mango know it, you know it's tight. Prime Doc Lee cooks. That's I mean, all I'm gonna say he was he's, he's folding. He, his he arms. fucked up two last. He fucked up two last docs. That's all I'm gonna say. I think if he won with Doc Lee, he tried, and that would have been a sight to see. I would have been happy to see. That would have been insane, to be honest. I think H Box has to do some real soul searching. Mango. If he loses to Doc Lee. Oh yeah, that's oh god, what a beautiful well, simulation. Here's the thing. He would change his play style. He would never. I don't think he'd ever lose a set to Doc Lee, because he could play just horribly, mm -hmm. just like a vicious, vengeful man. Yeah. Oh fuck me. Uh oh, Subway Surfers time. All right. Oh, they put graphics in for Fortnite. You're gonna play. Where are we? We are in. Uh. This is really hard. I don't know where this is. I'm going to look at the obvious clues, though. We're in Greece. Okay. I'm going to look at the obvious clues, though. Greece. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay. 
Do you want me to like help you at all? I want to go to Greece. Okay, great. So this is wrong, but I will guess it. Well, Athens? Uh, no, I. This is the Isle of uh, Go. Zoom in. Zoom in. Do you want Chani Achavia? No, we're in Mame Mamavasia. Don't to the left down. Mamavasia. Okay, here's the thing. You knew it was on the south of the of the globe because I was close. Where the sun is, you weren't. You were four thousand eight hundred ninety-one miles away. Dude, what the fuck? All right, let's go again. This is fun. You there's something to this game. Would like geography. Mogul and mo. Whoa. Moist mogul. Moist mogul services. Uh, that's a O one. That means Canada. This is this is Quebec. A B. Aberdeen. <laughs> it's actually so funny. It just says where it is. Yeah. So you you want to go Quebec? You Aberdeen? said Aberdeen. What the fuck is Aberdeen? I'm not. Yeah, don't look at chat. Hmm. People, people, but wait, wait a minute. A traditional local pub. Okay, it's an English-speaking country. I think we're in Quebec or Canada. I don't know what Aberdeen is. You gotta go. Is. You gotta go. Okay, okay. Eight seconds. Nine, seven, six. Quebec's on the right. Five, four. It's UK, bro. What? It said UK on the sign. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Oh, Aberdeen. Oh, it's in Scotland. It's in Edinburgh, <laughs> Scotland. It's where I eat me, I guess. All right, all right. I'm going to look at some really obvious signs here. How do you know what the sun is doing, you fucking freak? Look at the sun. Look at the compass. What? I'll find you a nice sign. We're in Crimea. Crimea. All right, this is a huge hint here. Crimea. French. France. Oh, la grande pussy. <laughs> Bro say. <laughs> Bro say. Okay, we're in France. Okay. We're near, uh, what's that city? Uh, Paris? No, we're near... Uh, Normandy? Normandy. Like the Allies. It's on the... Obviously, it's on the coast. I don't it's near Dunkirk, you piece of shit. Is it? I, I don't we're in Dunkirk. Is. I, I think it's down here. Okay. How did, Why would you know that? Uh, Francais? Fuck, I can't find Dude, it. Dude, society... Fuck, I think it was right near there, to be honest, though. Wow. Well, hey, you got it. It was in France. That Put was it on smart the board. That was smart of me. Put it on the board. Slime, smart. Do it again. Is this Los Angeles? Squad car? Beep, beep. This beep, is beep. The, uh, the classic Los... This is Wilshire. Hold on. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, Canal Street. Those street signs. Come here, come here. Uh -huh. I want to look at the street sign. Wait, is that one? Keep. This looks like these are look like not Los Angeles names. <laughs> okay, this is Hawaii. Okay. Uh, but we're in Hawaii. Is it? Honolulu. All right, find Hawaii on the map. Nine four six. The fuck is that area code? It's not an area code. That's just a three to seven digit number. Go, 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 go. Ooh, <laughs> Let's go. good guess. Th those road names are incredibly that that gave Hawaiian. It Wait, you're on two country streak. Hmm. Looks like uh, fucking. All right. Okay, this is uh, European Steins. Yes. This is England. A double decker bus. Well. Uh, Little Hardwick. We're in the UK. We are in England. We are in London. Okay. And guess what, bitch? It's also in. Fucking, I want to find a funny one. We're in Kingston up on Thames. Pussy boy. Birmingham? Close. Yeah. You're, you're actually on a fucking hell of a streak. Popcorn castle. Uh, this is Sweden or Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Driving on the right side. Uh-huh, yeah. Are signs just cheating? No, they're not. 
Super Schneiden. We're in Germany. We're going to go to Germany. Okay. And guess what? We're on the fucking Lay's Pig coast. We're in Bad Dubbin. <laughs> That's you. Bad Dubbin. Really close. Liechtenstein. Dude, I told you it was Switzerland. Well, it was the German part of Switzerland, I imagine. Damn so it. you, I think you're right about the language. Yeah. But it just obviously was not Germany. Dude, I'm so good. Ice cream's so good. Yum, yum. Uh, this is France. Lock it in? G yeah. Lock it in, no look? No look. Fucking, where are we? We're in Paris. We're in Gay Paris, bro. Right near the Treaty of Versailles. Bitch. <laughs> Moscow? <laughs> All right, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. All right, we got, wait, we got a couple minutes. Two and a half right. minutes. You go. No, I crush. A sprockle dick? What the fuck is that? Oh, sporkle. All right. What no skips. I... Click on Idaho. What the fuck? Wait, oh, where does it say it? Oh, Rhode Island. Uh, this one. Michigan. It's this one. Florida, Utah. Oregon. <laughs> the true coin flip. <laughs> Kentucky is the chicken. Missouri is. Uh, oh, bitch. North Dakota. You're cracked at the U.S. though. Maine. Yeah, I know my states. Arkansas is here. Oh, damn it. Vermont. Mm. Damn it. This is what? Jory. You're dude. falling apart. Jory Buff. Tough one. Tough one. It's crazy how quickly you got Iowa because you thought it was Arkansas. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast, bird. Carolina. Yeah. That was tough. That was tough. I think you should sweep. New Hampshire. Wait, what? I always thought it was horizontal. Yeah, I that was a genuine guess. I really did. Th or, That's crazy. That was, I genuinely thought that was correct. That's crazy. God, fucking, I hate the East Coast. No one likes the East Coast. It's nobody. It's it's literally the founding of America. Ooh, who cares? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what do you think that is? What do you think that is? Guess it. Yeah, Maryland. Two bits. Yeah, oh, bitch, Boston. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ohio, Wyoming. Oh, I fucked it up. It's a W. It's W. You should have had forty. You should have oh, got. I should have got a there. B. Yeah, you should have got a I B. I should have got a B. You choked that. I hate the East Coast. It's just a fucking dirty mess of bullshit. What's What's we, are here. we just have more divided territory. Oh, we wear like fucking wigs with right curls now. on them. That's, that's just people. George from Washington did that. Yeah, oh, George Washington did that. He was from the East Coast. <laughs> it's not an East Coast thing. It's not? No. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. He's on the money. You know yeah, same yeah. with so many so West Coasters who do that. Who? Name literally one. You can't. How you guys doing? That's so funny that you Yo, actually can. It's so hard this place is so to come up with someone from the West Coast. I guess we didn't develop the West Coast when that was in style. No, we didn't because we said, damn, this sucks. Fuck! Anybody got some watch parties? If you got a watch party with your friends, you either either Discord or in person. I know, Wyoming. I, I know. And, uh, I just mixed it up because I just saw now. W. I those vibes, hell yeah, hell yeah. Nothing like chilling with your friends, family. It's just like you know, Sunday. Slime understand so time passing Sunday challenge. Brandon, no, I refuse. <laughs> I'm ordering Dunkin' Donuts. Dumping Donuts? I've been get on a Dunkin' kick. It's so well. Yeah. America rock. No, you know what? I'll, I'll never say that. In in hopes that we one day get a Dunkin' sponsor, Dunkies is good. Dude, it actually is. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but game one. I know. It's 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 legit yum. Yum yum yum. I yeah. 
He was at like one. It is. Like You're with me, right? I'm game. with you. It's wow. dead ass good. Wow. It's dead ass. ass. Zane, I'm only Duncan was a big sponsor we had at so BTS so before COVID shut the like whole shit down. Early. Yeah. We're actually going to do like a five episode series where I interview people in a car. Very, very Peter esque. The thing is, here's the thing the only thing that I really love to drink from Duncan is the. And then, like, Sweet right. cream, <laughs> cold <laughs> foam, yeah. cream, down, cream, down, iced coffee. You like the cream with you, but they never have it on the app. Yeah. Once I get my prime like sub, I want the Falcon Ditto. Like, it's not. I don't pick people from chat. Also, I hate that matchup. Also, I don't like you. What do you want? Never stop believing. He will love you one day. We fight on that lie. Slim Charles. They did add alcohol. You sent me that, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was... A, what is it? Boston's going to turn into Mad Max in two weeks. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about it a little bit. We're getting... Slim, you missed a donut, bro. What are you talking about? This is not my stream. Man, I feel like I'm in Las Vegas right now. Where do you find it? That's not how it works. I'm a Twitch streamer. Slim, what is your D&D class going to be? I'm not leaking shit. But it's... I like it. Yeah, we we saying, sat for like two hours picking our guys, so please, and I'm uh, very happy with my guys. Wow. My class is gonna be cool. Yeah. I'll leak it. I know, I know I'm not above leaking, not uh, leaking shit. CEOs, Can I leak it? You think? Yeah, sure. I just like the mysteries. Like I'm gonna be a goth yeah, Yankee. We'll take them all. We'll take them all, man. Yeah. We'll take them all, man. Yeah. I'm gonna be a paladin. That's all I'll say. But there's a funnier part to that. These two are obviously rank one and rank two, seed one and seed two of this tournament. Mm -hmm. They are split exactly. Uh, down gift the Yankee, in yeah. Terms of their game count against each other. A goth Zira, Yankee. <laughs> Derek Jeter with <laughs> eyeliner. <laughs> and there's somebody who fought in the Revolutionary <laughs> War with eyeliner. That's like all. That's like. Um. Fuck, like dude. They don't have it. How about you, man? They don't have the sweet cream for you. Maybe Uber. I call them up. Ask them. Call them. Hey, I ordered an iced coffee. I actually want the sweet cream. I want the sweet cream for me. I could put it in the notes in really YOLO. Oh, winter's finals, baby. I love my boy Cody. He oh yeah, this is his home turf. <laughs> Zane. I don't know. It is, yeah. Zane is from MDVA, which is Maryland, Virginia. Which by the way, people from there don't call it that. That's really funny. Uh and then Dude, they got guitar pedals down there. What the fuck? What is that a Catalan bread? Wow. They have like the halftime show where they, they use the repeater. They got the <laughs> They got a phaser. They got a flanger. They call it the DMV. Yes. Delaware, <laughs> Maryland, Virginia. That makes sense. <laughs> Shoe gaze melee. <laughs> I give up. It's not on the cards. Just order it and put your own cream in it. Don't you have cream upstairs? No, 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 no. I like their cream. In the office? I like their cream. Their cream is a good cream. My cream's not so good. Not so good. Yeah, yeah, yucky. Cream so bad. Cream so bad. Uh, all right. IBDW versus Zane. What's the record? Um, you gotta check me out, stats bear. Uh, my guess is I'm closing my eyes. It's fourteen to three. Zane. Sixteen to eight. Zane. That's more than I gave Cody credit for. Their past three sets were all game fives, though. That's based. They're game fivers. Melee should be all game fives always. Because otherwise, it's boring bears. This is weird. I guess they just they just got these characters. Um, Mango got. Look at Zane's skin. What the fuck does he do? How does he do this? Dude, he's just blessed. But he definitely got lined up on the beard. He did get lined up. Do you, have you asked him what his skin routine is? Yeah. What does he say? He's like, dude, I, I just wake up. Dude, I hate when people ask me that because like I all I do is I wake up and I like just wash my face with water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just really good genetics. He's got boy genes, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's fucking cool. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay. I use like Cerebe? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't watch uh, Villain Saga yet. Okay. Is it good? <laughs> All right. This is a big deal for the Moist Mogus. Come on, Zane! Z we need to win this because our dream is the Moist Mogus Grand Finals. And the only way we get it is if we have someone in Winterside. You said, ah, oh, yes, yeah, Slime. I, too, want to watch HBox versus Polish for five games. 
wouldn't that be interesting if it goes to game five? Isn't that still exciting? Yeah. Like, what the fuck do you have to do? You're watching a stream right now. You're not busy. And if you are watching it at work, then that's fine. You get paid more. Oh, misses the up tilt. Nice. Ooh, he got through. How he, the fuck does he get that? He went under his legs. Dude, you got to get back to stage. Dude, I'm telling you, you've got to get on stage now or you'll die in the game. How about an edge guard, buddy? Look, Cody makes it hard. Cody cooks it up different. Oh, that platform. There we go. Yep. Yes, sir. Cody's too good, man. Cody Schwab's so good. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Cody Schwab NPC stream. That's what I want to see. Yo. That's what I want to see, bro. Put down guns the duel and get to work. F uh, Fox Mark, so good. Blip, blip. <laughs> He's dressed as a fox. He's got the fucking okay, yeah. the Yassify filter on. Oh, big, big falls. So How did he miss that? What happened? No, he, he got a follow up, bro. He did, but he missed the up tilt. Nice. Get down yeah. there. Yeah. Yup. He's such a beast. Nobody does up bees like him. Many do. He started. Let's it. go, Zane. <laughs> So you should be scared of Cody when he does the down tilt. They've been procedural. Keep talking about him. Procedural drama. Oh, what they've been law and order. Terrible jump height. Ooh, nice fault. It was almost, almost insane. He dragged him down. Ooh, nice down there. Nice. Last dog, baby. Zane has not worked for this game at all, but he could get it. He did bounce his head off the concrete for that last dog. <laughs> Come on. Okay, yeah, oh, his shield's so small. Wow. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. Again. Again. Just keep doing it. Cody nice. getting out of that situation in the first place is crazy. He's probably dead here, but he's not going to take it. Edge guard anymore. He lost his juju and powers. Why did he just fucking F smash? Dub in. Like drone. Dub in. Why is Zane bad now? Dub in. He's on. He's on. He's on. Watch this. 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 He's going to fair. Oh, on the platform. I think he misses L cancel. Watch this. <gasps> what do you do here? Back nice. Edge. Oh my god. No, that back dash. Wow. He, the down tilt. I think Zane's done that down tilt in a lot of spots. From from side to side. I didn't know you could punish it. Run in down tilt if you don't get hit by it. Yeah. That's crazy. It's got cooldown frames if you don't hit. Call them Isaiah frames, even though that's not how you spell it. That's crazy. All right, baby. FD. I mean, we hate losing game one. Oh, we would hate to lose game two, though. Wait, what's going on? What's that SpongeBob? I like him. What? Huh. What's that SpongeBob? Oh. This is, this is, come on. They want it all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> it, look, he gets a grab. This is cutscene territory. Well, it better be. I'm not gonna pretend that that there's a that there's some chance he loses this game. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna eat my slop and watch Zane zero to death, Cody, over and over. So much work to get that, but we get it done. We worked hard for that. It's okay to look at TikTok during these games. You know? No. These are the TikTok games. Cause, cause Cody can win. Hmm. Provide for us. Provide for your family. <laughs> Provide. Oh, he just does these empty crouches. That's nuts. Oh, nice. Oh, the grab was stupid. It, the the mix up to look for is what Zane does from side to center stage, and then crouches. Does he down tilt? Does he sit there? Is he trying to bait out a dash back and then F smash? No. Oh! What's the plan? I'm saying it's not going well here. Oh, oh that's the Aiden. Aiden clapping his hands right now. Aiden wishes. Oh my God. Okay. I was gonna make it. All right, two socks of two. But Co uh, Cody's fought back every time. Big okay, grab. what do we get? What do we get? It's Jober for Cody. This is stock. tough to get. This is tough to get. No, it's not, bro. You get a pivot grab? Pivot grab? <laughs> up tilt? <laughs> he keeps sending him early. Yeah, that is interesting. No jump? Considering also his, his edge guards has not been online. There, there we go. Yep. Yep. Good. We have on, the 100 baby. friendlies. Look, here's the thing about tournament melee. You only have to win either three or five games. Like, that's what that's what frustrates a lot of uh, players. Where it's like, 
Yeah, I beat this guy a hundred times in friendlies, but guess what? He played tournament melee. He pulled out all the tricks. Just dash grab. He didn't do jump cancel. Why is he washed? Oh. Nice. That was good. Good way to get center stage. Huge control here. We don't give this up for anything. Dude, Cody's power shielding like crazy. This is insane reaction. You don't give a shit. It's insane bears. Oh, he's dead. Oh, what? That was nuts. What? The, sh the mid shorten saved his life there. And I believe that if he wins the set, it's all due to that mid shorten. That was a crazy Real talk. Okay. Do that also, man. Cody with an opportunity okay. Here. Do not get See, run up down tilt, run up down tilt. At this yep. percent, it's so good. Yep. I bet you believed for a second that he would win. I didn't. I don't know. Oh my god. Dub in. Dub in. Dub in. Down tilt's so tough to deal with at this percent. It's just, it literally knocks down. Oh my god. Woo! Ice cream so good. Edge guard so good. <laughs> Edge guard so good. Blip blip. Was it short shorten? It might have been. Yeah, it was short shorten. Fuck, that was terrifying. That bad. All right, game two in the book, one to one. Yeah. So the middle shorten. There, are, I believe there are two distances. They're both one frame each. Get do have to hit. So it's really hard to do consistently. The short shorten is way easier. I want to say the two frames. I don't know. I want to say that. My mic's bugging. I think I'm just screaming. OG. Because I said, Dub it! Dub it. Oh, yes. Cheese him. Cheese him. Uh, cheese him again. Okay. Weird. Full hop. Accident. Short shortens two frames. It's so funny how it feels so easy. <laughs> it's one more frame. I've never missed a short shorten. Yeah. I think, well, it's also first, right? So you can spam for it. Yeah. I guess there's no, like, buffer. Ooh. Yep. Nice job. D this is the thing. We need to work less and work, get more. Okay. Work less, get more. The mogul moves way because we're moguls because we named our esports team after being a rich guy. Why? Why did we do that instead of GOATS esports? Mogul, something more mogul, creative. Mogul something it's beautiful. About being rich. Something about opening up the competition. <laughs> we could have done that. Yeah, but okay. instead, we're the moguls. Let's hear it for our moist moguls, our bad. wet rich guys. We lose wet and rich. We lose, That's what we are. We lose to shepherds. It's weird. If you lose a she as a goat, you just lose yeah, to a but shepherd. Yeah, then, but then the shepherd esports team has to come out. You lo yeah, but <laughs> and then, then and they, no one's gonna take that risk. When they do, it's curtains. <laughs> Fiction would make it tomorrow. Shepherd's no, no, esports no, 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 would be no, no, so funny. Yeah, Didn't oh, need to do way. that. Yeah. No, he, well, he needed to upbeat to recover, but he delayed so the upbeat. Oh, he slipped. He slipped. It's okay. It's okay, Dubbin. Ooh, the shine grab that connects. So ruthless. Oh, Cody's a beast. How does... As, as bullshit as Mars Sword is, it's crazy that that shield worked. Yeah, there you go. Boom. <laughs> Stupid Cody. <laughs> he thinks he has shots. He thinks he has, he thinks he has shots. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little American shots you have. A uh, little bitch boy. You're like a German-French guy? What is this? Uh, Swiss. I'm Swiss. Ah, uh, Swiss. <laughs> The mixture of that culture. The, uh, the, we have the, the Nazi gold. They, people always say the Nazi gold. We also have the Jewish gold. <laughs> we have it all we have in all the, the mountains. <laughs> Big shield. You see him hold it? Forever and ever and ever, Lubbin. Oh it is true, the Swiss, by the way. They have it all. They have a lot of Jewish gold that was held, and, and then no one to reclaim it, and they just kept it. And that's why the, their like, uh, service is like Zurich. Uh, Dude, that crazy up tilt. He's hitting with the back, the backhand of the like, up tilt so many times. Cody's been playing really tricky, mostly off stage and maybe not a lot on stage in this game. And that's been to his chagrin. All right, this is this is curtains. Go game three. Oh, this is Cody's counterpick. I bet he's feeling nervous. He can do it. No, he can't. No, he can't. Nice. Down tilt of this person Ooh. is so funny, dude. It literally just sends you sends you across the universe. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, go up there. Up tilt. Oh, he goes for the, the Drake slash. Oh! Uh-oh, Padebios. It's okay. He's at insane percent. Yeah, Uppies oh, frame two, frame three, fighters. frame two. Oh my god, dude. Brandon, we're the, the scary he took now. the face of oh, that yeah. first hit in air. <laughs> you gotta win neutral, yeah. like that. 
What? <laughs> it's a big stage. Nice. Legies are crisp. The ass is fat. We're ready to rock. You got gooners. Yeah! Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Meet the guy. ZaneGaming.org. One on Cody's counterpick and seemed really good on the platforms. I think that's like one of the things that they say Marth's bad at because the sword does not cover as much of it, but lined himself really well under the platforms to guarantee follow ups. He trims his beard so deep to the neck. Maybe I should do that. Uh, I think it's just probably like how high. Because like, usually you take your chin and you go like this. And then you go the buzzer, and then you go down. But he kind of went. He goes far into the neck. Maybe I should keep that. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot in this. Stream. Go to a guy. I'm not gonna go to a guy. Why? They would do a really because good job. Because I'm a DIY gamer. It's sometimes you shouldn't be though. I think. Mm. Cruel. Like you. A cruel thing to say. <laughs> Could benefit. I need to get a haircut. If Zane loses, we have no savior. What are you talking about? Moki's still in. Also, Zane is still in. They're both still in. Chatter, you're wrong. Let me keep asking, where can we get our hands on one of those shirts? Well, Check I got this on an Instagram ad. It's got cars on that, it. That is Moist Mogul's merch he's wearing. You can go to uh, moistglobal.com. It's on the pinned comment. And all the cars are on it. And then at the end, there's a forklift, which I think is also funny. <laughs> All right, three socks of three. Let's get a cheesy kill. Let's not work too much, huh? We don't want to work hard. We want to work low and easy. But still get all the, the reward. We want all the reward for our work, even though it's a little bit. Mm, down throw is weird. Stadium is not Cody favored. Mm, I, I think it's splitting hairs. Fox definitely likes Stadium, and Marth likes it too. It's actually the new Battlefield. Actually, never mind. It's, it fucking transforms. Never mind. It's actually Cody favorite because it transforms now. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, what else? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh Cody. Must be acidic. Jerk. Ruined that. That was so tricky there to get the drill. You got Gooner. Oh, double down tilt gets dodged away. Boop. He goes out there nowadays. Yeah, it actually gave him more. It yeah. gave him more height. Well, it sent him so high that he was able to drift forward a bit and then get closer to up B, you mean? I think what you need to do is not tip for the forward air there. Wow. Same spot that they were in previously. I think if Cody takes that one, he can't get back, though. He just bonks his head. And he can't up B. He's also delaying the up B so much that it's hard to tech it. All right. Okay, we need one kill that we don't work for, and then we can work for our final one. We're okay doing half the work for full pay at Moist Mobile's. Oh, I Moist Mobile! Moist cell phone service. Mobile cell phone service. Switch with, you can keep your same number, $15 a month, high quality. It's your same number and you can use it. Now welcome. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Way to steal the ledge, Cody. <laughs> it's just Martin's looking for his wallet while the fox is hopping around. People think it's going to game five. They're wrong. How much you charge for text? Four ninety nine per text. Yeah, we got to make money somehow. Woo! But only texts received. <laughs> texts yeah. sent are free. <laughs> you can get. You can get. You can rack it up really fast. Oh my god! Oh, this is it. The, th the forward throw down tilt. Jeez! Oh, Fendrick Lamar wait. smiling in wait. the crowd right now, in Maryland, Virginia. Whoa! Oh my God! That's my goat. That's our goat. That's Dubbin's goat. What a turnaround! Holy shit! That's just clutch genes. A hundred four percent edge guard scenario. So Cody, what's the what's the invincibility? You're invincible for twenty frames? No, it's like fourteen. Just it, literally or whatever hangs on just a beat too long. You can see him flashing and stop flashing. Wow. Wow. And how composed Zane is here because he drops it, picks it back up. After 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 he gets the first knockdown, it's all like robot Terminator mode. Boom. Also, Cody was so nervous. Like so nervous. Cody flubbed, right? Because like, even right here, he could have gotten out of it on the top platform. He just shielded instantly. Wow. Once you grab my butt, my fault. Oh, geez. Wow.
Dang. That's a big deal. That's great. That's that's gamer composure. Man, that was and now it's a grand finals grand. mogul experience. Possibly. Doing? It's moist for you. Oh, Zane's and Grand's Moki versus Hungry Box. If Moki wins, which he did earlier, right? That's who he, he beat did. to make he, top he eight. He beat H Box really good. 3 1. So if Moki beats H Box, then it's Moki versus Cody, and then it's a moist grand finals. It's a Christmas time oh. event for Love and Ombers. That would be so good. I think that. Moki's got some work to get to Grand Finals. It's not that bad. He's beat H-Box before, and he, the way he beat H-Box was so decisive earlier on in the tournament. It's like, I, I don't know. He's definitely the favorite right now, based off momentum alone. Uh, in addition, he's beaten Cody as well. I think that's actually a taller order for Moki, is beating Cody. But it's definitely not a long shot. So, um, and then he has to do all of this just to beat Zayn two times in grands if he wants to win the whole tournament, which is a long shot. Moki versus Cody, it's they. Moki's won ten. Hungerbox is one thirteen. Or excuse me, Moki versus H Box. Moki's won ten. Hungerbox is one thirteen. That's pretty close. Yeah, I think a lot of those were back when Moki wasn't as good though. Big House well, nine. To be fair, a lot of the ones that Moki won were online. Interesting. Yeah. Offline, I think it's more HBox favored. Crazy ass edge guard. Gumble 2023. Like some type of insane innovation. Moki lost to HBox 3 0. <laughs> God, that was a hype tournament. And there's another player sitting on the stage who's uh, also been innovating a lot with Fox. All right. Last tournament when they went against each other, HBox beat him 3 0. Well, if you're going to go by most recent, it was Moki yesterday. Uh, yeah. He crushed him 3 1. Dumbass. I'm a little, well. That's right. Oh, hello. Hunger Box looks different. New guy. H Box said, uh, new guy. Mr. Cuban Link. Sunglasses in the venue. What's the next accessory? Is he an MC? I don't know if he's an MC or making a joke or what have you. Merch says pre order. When does it come out? Good question. Moist Mogul's merch will start shipping uh, this month. <laughs> It'll start shipping this month. Sending in another guy for the uh, for the Yoshi's game because you just want to get it over with. You want to take a take a take a breather. Just don't want to play it. It's a fill. Yeah, man. Congratulations, He has a chair warmer. Oh, let's go, Moki! Moki the Bears, Moki the Bears, Moki the Bears. It's like seeing when the NBA rankings come out. I like the shorts the most. Of the moist oh mogul attire. Yeah, I think they're they make, all great. They make me feel like I'm a damned baseball player. You are, but I'm not. You could be. With the shorts, maybe. You could swing for the fences. With the shorts, I I run onto the field wearing nothing but them. You point out to the green monster and you just hit it every time. Hungry box and mango always top five. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always gonna be. But you know. He walks weird. No, he doesn't. Does he not? He's normal. He just walked into a child. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's Dumbass kid. Look at the Cuban link. Look at the watch already. I think you're right. I think he already I'm has the watch, dude. You. I'm telling Who you, told man. him to wear the chain? He's already got it. it looks great. That's what I'm wondering. I like the chain. I don't think it looks great. I'm cool with the chain. Maybe that's Here why, because we we're talking about it. Right. We keep our focus attention on HGO. You know what I think the bigger issue is? What? Shorts. Dubbin? Shorts? Why? I think shorts just look bad. You're wearing them. Unless they're moist, global branded. You're not wearing those. I am. Wait, these are? Yeah. I like these. Thanks. Are they really? <laughs> I was like, why would they have flowers on them? These are nice shorts. I think in general, shorts are super convenient and great, and I like wearing them, but I think if you just... What about this? Hey, we're talking about shilling merch. These are yard shorts. Yeah, I prefer pants. I think they look... These are tight. Uh, I think I shorts don't look like good. I just think knees look weird. Is really, is literally back Does this forth, scare yeah. you? If what do you think of this? Does this freak you out? Stop it. Stop it. Get, get this so gross little... Nubby nub. The last set, Moki was looking like he was going to lose for a second. And then he picked it... It's crazy to not like shorts. I think they look bad. I think they look bad. I think they look bad. It's like weird. That's like human anatomy. You think like... Like... But, I mean, the, you think the we'll bottom see, half we'll of human uh, legs look bad, and that's a weird thing to say. You think the bottom half of human legs? I think. I think. Yeah, that's basically what you're saying. Yeah, I think knees look weird and knobby. 
There are knees. We need them. Yeah, but like, it's my butthole. Like that's I need. This. We cover our buttholes all day. I'm saying, but it, but if the logic is what is human should be beloved, why do we not? Keep but what our I'm saying out? is we have socially agreed as a contract so my that we don't show our cock and ball, we don't show our butthole all day, all yeah. long. I'm, and I'm not saying it's it should be banned to show knee. I'm just saying usually you look better when you don't show knee. That's what you are. You're like a fucking an 1800s like fucking church. Church deacon. I think, and you don't like women showing their wanton ankles. I think ankles. all these harlots <laughs> showing their wanton ankle. Yeah, you're a Puritan. Also, you know, want to point out you mentioned something to the effect of how different their set. I'm excited. I'm excited for Moki to pop off on touchdown one. You know, I, I like I like shorts when when they got great legs though, like me, like hugs. Hugs has good uh, Nick Yingling's calves. Yeah. Nick Yingling has won the genetic lottery in calves and hairline. He's got big guy calves. I wish I had big guy calves. Yeah, but when he, when he was like working out a shitload and he was like really really fit, the, the calves were like, uh, it was like Nick Yingling the Adonis. Christian has big guy calves. Does he? They're huge. I've never taken notice. It must stink in that room. It smells great, bro. You mean at the SmashCon venue? Uh, maybe. Here uh, most, it smelled most like conventions, shit for a while, yeah. Most conventions will, a lot of human bodies, will smell like human bodies. I hate this fucking propaganda about it being a Smash player thing. You think Evo smells really good? Eat my shit. There were no Smash players there. Anime Expo didn't smell great. Looks like we're getting underway. <laughs> Imagine. Gentlemen, it is I was there. Imagine if it smelled like Bowie. damn flowers. All right, baby. Fox place. Puff. And I think we are going to see a very, very slow-paced Hungry Box, if I had to bet. No, yeah, but you know what? Moist Mogul's Moki, the champion of Goats Esports, will not let him slow down. Well, he will open him up. So the way he will spread open the openings of Hbox's neutral game, uh huh, and he will display it, holding it open, display it to everyone on stage. So the way he does that is if he gets a lead, if he gets an up throw up air right here. Hey, Hungry Box can't camp because he's down a stock. You've never been to the Good Smelling People Congress. Yeah, I'm not. I don't get invited to that. Wow! Ooh, what? Oh, you hold he held down. No, I think it's Battlefield, right? I don't think he's. No, Battlefield. It means when you're holding down, it it's both. No. You get Battlefielded when your hands are on the stick. Otherwise, you'll grab. Goats, spread them. I think if H Box gets a lead, he'll play slow. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just a, not a, a, a gamer like that. Whew! Uh-oh. Pound? Oh, Pound's out to the left. He's scared. Where the fuck is Plup? Does he still compete? Plup does still compete, but he, he picks his spots because I think competition and traveling is very exhausting to him. So it's it's not something he just wants to grind and do all the time. He picks his battles, and he still crushes when he can comes. Yeah. When he shows up, it's still a... We herald the, the coming of our god. When he comes, the goons go crazy. We start gooning like crazy when Plup in the room. I gotta go goon right now. No, I'm not sure. He just invokes the spirit of a gooner. Why no up smash? The double jab is so funny from Puff. She thinks she's fighting. Puff jabs are so bad. Wizzy is also dealing with like mental health stuff uh, and health issues concerning competition. So everyone, there are people just taking break breaks, traveling chilling hard. out, traveling stressful. Wow, that was a, oh trick shot. Okay, lead for Hungry Box. How does he play it? Battlefield, can you let my dude fuck one time? Goes to ledge. Moki's not giving him a lot of space. Hey. Good up tilt. It gave him almost no space there. Let's go. Oh, he was really trying to read something fierce. Xbox doing a lot of double jabs now. Explain, computer. What does that mean? Rest! Okay. Um, what? You just come down with an air like an animal? I mean, you only need to get... He got like 40 per, 30, 35%, 30%. Yeah, I guess you're going to connect something no matter what. Ooh, careful. That platform is just danger bears at this percent. Kill percent? Up throw up air? 
Everyone's getting caught in their dash. What the fuck is happening? Check the disc. Check the disc. Check the disc. Ooh, Look at our goat. Back air. Landing. Back air. Oh, he's not. He's getting Dead. greedy. Okay. Wow, Moki got a bit greedy there. Yep. It's because you really want the Jigglypuff to land to grab her. What the hell is that? The banners? They retired her number? <laughs> Thank you, Goopy, for the 20 months. 20 months. That's so many years. That's nearly 20 years. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Goopy. It's, it's over 20 years. It's over 20 years. Yeah, because I was born in 95. <laughs> I had to think about that. There we go. Damn, that was crazy conversion. Monkey bears! Monkey bears! Monkey bears! Pokemon is sort of the... the this is how the last set went as well, by the way, when they played earlier yesterday. As uh, Monkey lost the first game and then crushed him the next three. Really? Like, it was, it was clinical. I will say, when HBox wins... Uh, against people who are really good against Puff, it feels like a miracle happened. Yeah, he's good at making it look like he did the impossible. <laughs> and when he loses, it looks like he has no chance ever. Wow! That was some technology that almost ended up getting him killed. You said this is going to be 3-0. You're talking about H-Box throwing Monkey? I really don't think that's going to happen. Ooh, this arrest. No, it's just a I'll put anything it's not a 3-0. Wow, he follows that up. Almost dead, though. That's, a, that's like a nine-hit combo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you just don't interact. Don't interact. Just wait. Oh, you get it, getting a pot shot in the head while you're grabbing the ledge. That's not fun. Yeah, I think because he's a little lower, right? Yeah, I think it has to do with Pokemon. In the pond. <laughs> woo! Crazy. So good makes it woo. Now we're on Ken's windmill. You ever notice Nick Yingling says windmill? <laughs> no. We make fun of him all the time for it. How do you make fun of him? Because it's really funny. You know what he also says? Pillow instead of pillow. <laughs> so? It's really funny. Oh, hold on. That's uh, evens it up pretty pretty nice. He's ESL. He just grabs? <laughs> Yingling is ESL. Yeah. What's his first language? American Sign Language. <laughs> He's ESL ASL. He's ESL ASL. And I think that's really cool and brave. <laughs> Hey, can I have a pillow? <laughs> I want to sleep on the windmill. <laughs> I've, I've roomed with Yingling, and he says it constantly. I have fucked up pronunciations. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah, hey, put it in the other rum. No, you know what? Put it on the rough. <laughs> I never said rough. It's you say rough. It's roof. It's roof and rum. 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 You say shit weird. Yeah, but I'm fucking hilarious. I cooked it up. Die! Die! <laughs> Remember when we were beasts? <laughs> I love, I love you, Dubbin. Are we gonna be friends forever, Dubbin? <laughs> See? <laughs> Isn't this funny? Fuck. Look at, look at Monkey Bears. <laughs> you clap like an orangutan. <laughs> Well played, well played. Dude <laughs> from Colorado Fox get a pass. Yeah, we all Fox talk like this. Fox is older than Puff? Let's get it, Fox. Fox is 30 1993. Yeah, Star Fox. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's a rest? Okay. That's a rest. Wow, that was a fucking combo. Oh, my God. What an insane grab from touchdown one. Nice. What do we get? Down throw? Regrab? Down throw? The axe method. Oh, I do think down throwing is sick, but you can get a pommel in. Axe did that at Summit with his fox, and everyone went wild. And yeah. Like, He's on to some no. shit. A little off. Greenland, you lived that. I think you need like 66. Dash dance. This is the Josh Man method, but Josh Man does it way too long, and then he loses the set at LACS. I do this against extra. I call it the extra method. Oh, yeah? It exterminates him. <laughs> He's just yeah. lame his dumb ass out. I, I just down throw him, and he just doesn't know what to do. He panics. <laughs> oh, you play your fox against Esther's puff? Yeah. That's so based. Do you win? Yeah. My, dude, my puff, it's not even worth having a conversation. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm talking about your fox, which needs work. My fox? Your fox has three moves. <laughs> Buddy, 
you don't want to fight him. I, you don't want to fight him. I fired up melee yesterday, Dubbin, and I just, I still got it, bro. You lost. What are you talking? I lost to two people. I wouldn't lose. Yes, you would. <laughs> you would lose to Young Donut. That was cute. Oh my God! Up throw pair. Boom. Ooh. Wow. Weird up smash angle. It's pretty smart to back throw though at the ledge. Oh, the rest. Oh. Oh, back here, smart. There was a time in which we all thought double shining would just ruin the game, and there you have it, gang. It doesn't. Jesus Christ. Moki's insane, dude. He just goes out. It's kind of dumb. Boom. Okay, worked out. Did up smash rate killed? No. Like, that happens. Phil calls it the ignorance. The, the weird hitbox. Wait, that's an Arizona thing. Baby oh really? <laughs> An ignorant up smash? Oh. Okay. Phil calls it that. Oh, Ooh, big grab! I'm gonna say oh, Mikey, Mikey made that. Mikey Bears? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Wait, yeah. he's crushing in this stock. Almost a zero to death. Oh my god, he face tanked it. This is huge. Yeah. Two stock comeback. This is this is a demoralizing one too. But another, like you said, H Box is a guy who will just pull a miracle out. And like, no matter how much he's okay, down, you're nice. like, surely yeah. he doesn't win this. And then Not sometimes he really just does, and it's magic. Yeah, yeah. God, these up tilts are insane. Yeah, from like zero to twenty-five, that is your that's oh Juan goodness. will go for that so much. The issue is how much respect Moki's giving Juan right now, and he needs to get so much percent to get into kill range. He needs to get him to like sixty-five. Yeah, he needs to get disrespectful now. He's playing. He's playing so scared. That's so hard to punish that full out fair too. One that might look like he's just spamming back air, but he's placing it really, really well. I think the more time goes on, the better I feel about Moki. Oh my god! That was really clutch. That was clutch box shit. You can light it. It's okay. He likes matches right now. It's his thing. Other side. Other side. No, other side. I'm out here playing the trials versus I thought you were fire starter. <laughs> I knew which one was coming there. Right? H-box, a bit of a side <laughs> lead coming through on that. You've lost all your powers. No, that'll burn you. It's going to burn you, and you're going to drop it on your fucking pants. That's <laughs> crazy. It's so long. Oh, it's like half a match. No. Stop, it. Stop, try, stop. Don't light the croissant. All right, FD, baby. Let's go game five. Let's get a game five, Moki Bears. I want a moist grand finals. Me too, man. FD's great. Very short ceiling. Easy to grab puff because she has to land on the stage. A throw up air doesn't kill. Has anyone ever reversed six in grand finals? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, it's hard to do, but... Actually, has it... Hbox did it versus Joey. People have 6 0 in grand finals. 6 0. But I don't know if it's been like a reverse 6 0 in the sense that like you were down two games, 1 3, down two games, 1 3. The stats are probably low on that, but nothing's impossible with God on your side. True. Ooh. He's caught 2%, which I think is a reflected laser. Why are you doing crazy shit? I guess you're Moki. Man, if Puff's throw had any any animation at all, she'd be such a bad character. But the fact that you can just grab someone and just rip them up into the sky. Do that. He's crazy, man. Uh, wait, her throws have insane animation. Her fourth throw is literally the only throw that okay, can get I mean, I mean up throw. Look at that. Are you fucking kidding me? That was crazy. He thought he would live. What? What the hell was that? Look. What are you doing? Moki! What are we doing? He's playing, he's playing like like he's having fun. Oh, and it's okay. Moki, no! Moki, no! He's no, shut up, shut up. So sometimes you need to get your... What? Say it. Say it. Say it, don't spray it. Sometimes you need to play in the way you would play while you're having fun to get your confidence back, and he just cooked too hard. He cooked too much. Everyone just handing Hbox W's today. It's his fucking birthday or something. He should have gotten fucking fifth place, and this buddy's going on to get third, possibly second, which is crazy to me. Mango serving it up with his Dr. Mario gloves. Moki just jumping around. Man. Three up throw rusts. That's crazy. What a gift. What a gift. Bummer. Moki's out in fourth. Uh, good tournament for Moki, though. That's the wrong one. 
You know what? Shouts so out to Moki, uh -huh. one of my Maybe favorite players. I like Moki. Yeah, I mean, I guess and uh, sometimes you just get touchdown in. wand, which didn't actually before, happen like, this time. It was also to be so to give credit to Hbox grabbing the the raw up air twice in a row and just fucking throwing them up. That's a puff. It's not hard. Yeah, but he had to read the he had to read the approach and just grab. Dash back. I don't even think he wave dash grab. That's even worse. Hey, look, you're the puff player. I tried to give Goat some credit. Nope. Not to give. Moki never even stood a fucking chance by being real. That's oh, you're trolling. Lunchbox is just better, I suppose. <laughs> well, chat, you guys can support Moki by getting our Moist Moguls merch. Available now. It'll ship real soon. And if you're the first fan to end up on a baseball field broadcast wearing only the shorts, you will win one free coupon for a Subway sandwich. Item ships in October. Item ships in October. I believe it's six weeks from out when they're bought because it's made to order. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do agree with you. I think uh, the shirt's ugly. I like it. Like All you're ta talking about. Do. I like it too. I look like a hot Fred, Fred from yeah, Scooby Doo. I think that's a good look. And Fred from Scooby Doo is very hot. Fred coded. That's actually a good point. October, bro. Well, people who bought it two months ago get it in August. But it just—they didn't like make five thousand and then we sold five thousand. They're just like. Hey, we don't know how many they're going to sell, they're so we have to buy it and then make it, and then you send it. Am I Scooby or Shaggy? So it's not like if you wait until October, it ships October. You're Shaggy. But what about Scooby Dooby Doo? I think that would be Aiden on a leash. <laughs> yeah. And you would be Shaggy. Aiden's could also be Daphne. If you and Aiden were alive in Greek times... You would shout have a here, uh, predatory relationship. That's not what they call it. What do they call it? <laughs> There's a better word the, for this. Aiden wouldn't. Aiden would be. I would live with him. He would say that much. <laughs> you guys would live together. I'd live with him. You would. You would be what like. Aiden would eat out of a bowl. You would be on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> That's what it would be like. Cool so, okay, uh, yeah, a, a, a pederast relationship. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> I'm just reading the Song of Achilles. That's why it's on my mind. Why are you reading that? Did some streamer tell you it was a good book? It's like one of the most popular books in the past few years. Oh. But I read her short story, that's why. Ludwig reading now. Crazy. I read. I like books. I guess that's weird. I also like music. Have you heard the strokes? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Ludwig listening to Mac DeMarco changed all of us. We were like, holy shit, he listens to music. I like Guadalajara. I like Guadalajara. Like okay. I like uh, September 4th, 2019. Okay. This is a good song. Yeah. Uh, that book is for queer teenagers who grew up on Percy Jackson. I know. That's why I love it. Dude, I watched the Percy Jackson movie years ago. So bad. So terrible. It's terrible. It's, terrible. it's, terrible. it's actually horrible. crazy. It's insane. <laughs> I was like, damn. The book's really good. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. The young adults kind of fish in a fish in a barrel, to be honest. Uh, the wait. What does that mean? The genre young adult fiction is like it's just I believe easy to capitalize on or at least was, you know, in the past like 15 years or whatever, and uh, I don't respect young adult authors. Cause it's easy. It's too easy. I think so. What's a young adult book that is better than the rest? Um, dude, there was this one like Harry Potter knockoff I actually really liked. I forget what it was called though. So, but I read it in college. Mostly I'm salty because all of the people in my English program and my creative writing program wanted to be young adult authors and I had to read all of their slop because we had to critique it and it was just the same shit every time. I think it has... Hating writers for no reason? I think I have a reason. Uh, I think now, the thing books that, uh, are good. You know, the thing that I don't know. That's a, hey, yeah, you know what? Like, and that's a brave take, and I'm proud of you for saying it here at, uh, live in front of our friends. Maybe I'm dumb. I just think books are cool, man. Damn, his up tilts are nasty today. His edge guards are dog shit. No, it wasn't Aragon. That's it. It's a shine spike. Oh, Ugh. bro, you got shine spikes. All right, Cody Schwab versus H Hungry Bones. 
So I looked it up. The stats are not good for Team Juan de Biedma. Uh, he has lost a lot to Cody recently. In fact, the last time he beat Cody in person was Smash Summit 11. Wow. Which I don't know when that was. Dude, it's been a, it's been a hot damn minute. They've played so many sets. They play a lot online, and Cody kind of has his number. That was Ju that was July 2021. So the last time Hungry Box won in person was two years ago. Wait. Yeah. Uh, and since then, it's been the Cody show. Damn. The stats, I didn't know they were that severe. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know he had such an insane record. Bumble 2022. Everyone keeps saying that to me. But I don't know what it means. Here's the thing. It's not on here, so I don't believe it happened. I guess I, I, would say, I would say show me the data. Think about that. Hbox is Aaron Rodgers on the Packers. Didn't he do really good on the Packers? Uh, Aaron Rodgers did do well on the Packers, but he only won one. He was like a great quarterback, but could not win in the postseason. Post season. Oh, he got his one though. That's all you really need. By the way, where's Jmook? I think he's taking a little break as well. He's not at this tournament. He had a broken controller. He was going through some shit. He had a couple bad performances. No one comes back from Pontins a whole person. You know what I mean? It takes it, years. It takes something from you. I'm glad I didn't go. <laughs> Is Hbox edge guarding? He's trying. He is getting out there, I will say. And he's also got nasty up tilts. Dude, I didn't know he was such an underdog. I, 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 the stats did illuminate that for me. Thank you, Statman Ludwig Anders. Ooh, Boom! There it is! Yeah, he's a, he's a huge underdog. He hasn't won a tournament in a long time, like a major tournament. Uh, I guess Smash Factor, but that was pretty small beans. Okay. Yeah. You still have jump. You still have shine stall. You still have early up. up right. From Firefox. I Look, I'm happy with either of these situations because yeah, I think. He's got so I much think so this is to fight like, Zane. Like oh man, it's actually there. it's money in the Both bank if Hbox gets there. Uh, for Zane? Yeah. I think he's in a pretty good spot either way, but I do think he's got some. Wow! Up air. See, that was the up e. Do you see that? Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. If you do a light up B instantly, you retain your jump after getting hit out of your up B, and it can throw people off and just give you more hype. It's Smash Factor was literally the biggest tournament in Mexico. That is understood, but the field was still not like this one. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, it was an easier tournament to win than most majors. It's easier to win if less strong players are at the tournament, even if there's more weaker players at the tournament. That's how it works. I just don't think there was enough. Smash Factor is a super major. Are you guys talking about ultimate? Yeah. I'm talking about melee. For You're talking melee? about melee where it was lucky had, and meds and S2J. You drunk ass mango. <laughs> and drunk you had mango. S2J. Actually, S2J is a top eight guy. But yeah. s 2 is good. Like, I feel like you guys are being intentionally obtuse to be right. When really you could just look at the information and see. Uh, Eddie Mexico went far. That's tight. I do love that. That's I, I love look, that happening on home turf. I'm not trying to validate the tournament. The tournament can be Eddie, cool still. Eddie in a super major is usually like a 25th, 17th type of bear. It seemed like a strong regional with Hungrybox. Because it would be people from like LA traveling, which makes more sense. Oh, Hacks Money was there too. Yeah, Be because okay. because the the NAFTA trade agreement hey, allows him to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like DACA. Who said Puff can up throw up? Uh, three <laughs> sucks to three. Okay, oh those rolls God, are sick. sick from H Fox, but yeah, Fox is a little bit too fast. You hope Mango wins? I've got bad news, time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a chance. <laughs> Woo. Oh. I want a touchdown one. I'll say it. I think I, I'm an underdog guy. Yeah. Oh, what a read. Computer explained. Ooh, wait it again. Yep. Wow. Nice job. He actually outplayed the shit out of him right there. Oh, oh, uh oh, this is bad. All right, get out of there. Get out of there, Juan. Dude, Cody stacks it up so quickly. Oh, my God. That, up throw, up air kills. Oh, my God. Up air doesn't kill. Up throw, up air kills now. Up smash kills. What? Oh. Or maybe just a raw single hit, brother. Yeah. From high up. Well, off the backboard. Laziest drifts NA, I've always said. It's crazy because that's her one thing. Is drifting. 
All right, are we in this one? How are we feeling? Power shielding? How are we getting this kill? I like him going for the up air at these low percents. So funny how Cody plays this. He just plays from the side, lasers, and then comes in, like jumps over Hungry Box, and then does it from the other side. I, oh, oh my god, what a catch. And then just fucking throws. That's a fly ball. He's caught a fly ball. Yeah, Cody Cody basically makes HBox commit to an option, a grounded option, and it's he just loses math wise. Like, it's really intelligent. Up throw up air kills, and here's the thing you need at least one hit if you're hungry box to get a kill on rest. So you need you need to get in, get a bear, get out. Yeah, he's trying to catch Cody in the air because he can't be crouch canceling, but man, is he making it fucking difficult. And he just lasered, what, 17 times now? That's all right. You don't mind the percentage. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if you're dead no matter what, it's time to party. 60 to 100 is like... Dude, look at this discipline. Oh, my God. This is real fighting games. There we go. There we go. Okay. Grabs on the board. Up tilt's on the board. Oh. Falling up airs on the board. It's all on the board. Pounds on the board. You're going to see one of those four. No, he doesn't pound. He doesn't pound till game three. One of those four. One of those four. There's no way he pounds. Oh. Oh. That was falling up air. He misses. Oh, dude, Nick rests that out of shield and he wins the game. Ludwig Jr. wins against H uh, Cody right now. <gasps> he waited for the double double. Oh, oh my God! Wow, goes for the dash attack. Dead. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Next backer will for sure kill though. This is the whole set. This game. Oh my God! He rolls through. It's an accident usually. Oh! Dude, he crouch cancels. That's why you can't approach the fox on the ground, Dubbin. Yeah, I think he, I wanted to hit the fox higher than drift out of down tilt range, but it is crazy how late you can crouch cancel. Damn. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for touchdown one nation. I think it's fine because it was it was Cody's counter pick. It was a very tough stage, and it mentally drained Cody, and I think Hungerbox is more reserves. <laughs> Yeah, but I could be wrong about that fact. I forgot that HBox won the first game. Yeah, yeah. HBox won. I was looking at it through the lens of that, and that's why my ass was clenched even harder than before. Oh, dude, he's been grabbing on that for ten years. People just keep trying to like hit him and like, aerial him while he's standing on a platform, not facing them, and he just grabs as they fall through. What a catch! That is, that's like max percent at that height. Come on, what do we got, Juan? What's the big idea? Juan de Debba. Oh, tough. I do love him going for the Ludwig. Oh, that's eight percent. Eight percent for a lot of buttons to press. Okay, shield grab. No shine to come nice. The tech, tech is so smart there. Uh oh. He's gotta get back. We're getting dramatic. Sometimes it happens. Sure, sure. Sometimes he gets booped on the head. As long as you make sure to air dodge to get back, it's very fast, as opposed to like pounding to get back. Fartimore says, I love Ludwig YouTube. Thank you, Fartimore. Fartimore, back at it again. <laughs> Check out when I unbox $10,000 worth of stuff. <laughs> Where Yeah! Ludwig Jr. is here! Oh, that's Ludwig Sr. I've never seen Ludwig Sr. do that shit in my life. Ever. For those who don't know, Ludwig Jr. is Nick's puff. Ludwig Sr. Who goes exclusively has for like rest out of shield and goofy goofy times, medieval times. Ludwig Sr. has almost no rest to his name except for that rest. <laughs> you do that one? Uh, no, I would not rest <laughs> God, no. Up tilt. Bring it back. Oh, okay. whip, whip and grab. Which Nick? Like Nick that. from the yard. Pull that amendment out. Falco. <laughs> is oh, <laughs> it's Falco. You know, Falco. Who we keep calling Nick even though his name's Falco for some reason. Oh my god. What do you do here if you're Juan? You go for an instant falling up air? Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, That's it. I mean, that was easy. Touchdown, <laughs> Juan. Yeah, look at that camera. Yeah. My goat. Give me your fist bump. He knows. Oh, there's wheat. There's wheat in the big striped shirt. Wait, damn, yeah, wait, man. I love seeing my friends in the audience and then messaging them, be like, wave, and then they wave. And then I'm at home and I wave to the TV. I do it to Ben SW all the time. All right, baby. He's saving the pound. Everyone sees it. He's charged up his pounds. They're still not going to work, I think. 
I think Juan's a gooner. Look, we all see. Oh, what a really smart grab! A gooner can never hit that grab. Wow, because he's been he's con he's been conditioning with like up tilts and shit. Yeah, and he just tur insta turns around, grabs. Right. Oh, what a great way to start the game. You want to slow it down so much if you're Hunger Box. If you instantly die. But he instantly dies. Because it's Pokemon. Yeah, I suppose. I just feel like it would have been nice to really slow it down. Woo! Dude, he could have rested that before the side B came out. That would have been ball sack gaming. Oh! Certainly a mistake. The was insane. Yeah, his SDI on the drill. Oh. Oh, okay. I, don't I don't know what okay, these are. Nice. Like He's yeah, got some that's technology that's I don't know about. Where's the fall through platform pound? In, like Where it's, is it's it? It's not game five yet. It, it, it's but not game five. You could win it. <sighs> if you're not winning in game five, you're not being liquid hungry box. I hate getting scooped by that. Oops. Scoop when you're trying to nair and drift back. Oh, God. He's caught on to the fact that Cody will not roll. And so if he gets a knockdown, he can just dash attack. Yeah. All right, grass stage. Oh my goodness, that's the call out. Did he lose jump? Yep. No jump, no jump. Oh, no jump. Oh, what? Are you dumb or deaf? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, we go to FOD game five, and we start seeing some damn sideward bees. You talking, you talking to my language now? Is it FOD? I think he has to go back to Battlefield. I don't know if Cody gives it to him, though. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Okay, Hunger Box doing the itch the yeah, nose while playing. Yeah. We get it. Three, two, okay, he five. needs one more stuff, and then he will try. Oh, nice. I mean, he could still win this one. It'd be amazing. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right. FOD or back to Battlefield? I feel like he's going to reach over and be like, cool, we'll go back to Battlefield. He did. You go back? No. I'm not going to go back. No, I'm, I actually don't want to do that. Milk and So, yeah, the other player has to agree to go back to a stage you already won on. He said no. He said no. So, Hungry Box. I won there. I won there. Like, I think no Hunger, Battlefield. So Hungerbox clicked Battlefield. And Cody just exited asking. out. Yeah. Cody, Cody just out. clicked out. Dude, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> and then Cody's like, no, you won there. And then Hungerbox goes, did I win there? Oh so you don't my want to go God, back? dude. That's so fun. We called it. Yeah. We called all that shit happening. But nice honestly, job. such a mental play from Hungrybox. To like, because he knows. He's not fucking stupid. Oh. He knows the rules. He's played the game for 15 years. Maybe he just said, so no Battlefield. Not like, did I win there? He wasn't trying to trick him. He well, just assumed I, I he would say I think he yes. was trying to trick him by clicking it before asking. He was just, he was basically hoping Cody would fold his cards there. Yeah. So that's, but, that's but Cody tricking. was like, tricking. no, no, no. Because yeah. he you're, you should he didn't ask. ask. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, Clicking it without asking was insane. Yeah, that is that is one activity. Damn. <laughs> and now if you're me, if I'm Cody right now, I'm thinking about the mechanics of that social interaction and not the video game. And that's why Juan's the GOAT. Oh, what that's a, also why Cody's a GOAT. Wow. Wow. What a good edge guard. Dude. <laughs> They're saying the exact same thing. All right. Okay. The lead now. Damn, the hungry box. He he battles in melee like people battle in war. I know. There are no rules. He just needs to win, and that's the only thing that matters. And he'll remember when he used to stand up? Losing his death to him. Everyone knew he was looking at controllers. Yeah. And then he stopped doing it because they were like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I don't know. Sit down. I'll sit down. All right. I'll throw up her kills. I'll smash kills. Xbox waiting for a platform to come calling his name. How you gonna get in here? I'm getting a little nervous, Brandon, because Cody's presented that approaching up air a few Cody times. is yeah. presenting. It is crazy that yeah, Cody's yeah, approaching right. where a platform will rise, because it could just fuck him over. Yeah. yeah. Oh! oh. Yep. Good read, but couldn't is. follow up. Juan's looking good, bro. I mean, he's all right. This is a touchdown Juan situation. Ooh, the cross-up! That He did that shit to Mango back in 2013. The percentage he's gotten on him is great. It's also nice to get... Uh, to get into like 85, 90 percent range as Jigglypuff because up throw up air stops working. Yeah. The issue is Cody does so many falling up airs that it doesn't super matter. 
his jump back. Well, the falling up airs kind of get nerfed here because of the platforms. You, you They fuck with your height, and you can't land right. Oh, my God. It's a Juan Christmas. It's a Juan Christmas. It's Juan versus Zane Grand Finals. Wait, it's not done. It's not done. Good mess. He's trying to tilt him a bit, though. You really can see the mental game that Juan plays in a set this specific uh, match. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, he waited for the roll and he rolled away. I, I mean, he's he just gave up stage. He set up a lot for that roll. So it's not crazy to think it would work. Yeah, I mean, you can also, if he rolls away, you just get stage back. So it's fine. Oh, it's so, it's so Jover. It's Jover. Wow. Wow. The underdog fucking squeaks one out. What a run from Hungrybox. It, an absolute treat of a run for him. Yeah. Runs into a defeated Mango. Dockley. Uh, makes Moki get defeated during the length of the set. And then does the most Hungrybox thing ever to Cody. He got in his head, bro. First win since Gommel 2022, apparently. He just exited out of Battlefield. That was like two warring chads. Like, we're going here. No, we're not. And then they have to talk said, about it. I don't deserve to be Dude, it's like saying no headshots and then swinging for the head. <laughs> and then you block it and you're like, I thought we said no headshots. And he's like, oh, why'd no you block? Headshots. And he's like, why'd you block? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we're not doing that? I thought, I thought it was like, okay. All right. It's like, it's always been no headshots. <laughs> Makes Moki get defeated. I say that because Moki had, was fighting like a gamer and then, and then crumbled in the last game, the FD game. Wow! What a fucking what a what a gaming time! What a gaming time indeed! This is the best uh, hungry box performance in a while. I, I for one, maybe we should play for 5K. Who wait? Who challenged Mango for 5K? Oh wait, go back, go back. I think Juan challenged him for 5K in that Doc Lee. Because someone said Juan replied, Juan replied. Maybe quick quote tweeted him. The only search in Ludwig's Twitter search is XQC and Sentinels. The two. Okay. Prime Lee cooks. That's all I'm going to say. The aforementioned cooking. The nasty patty. And then he said, 10K money match. My dog, your puff, first of five. Give me a month. And then Hungrybox said, make it 15K. And then, and then Mango. Mango said... Yeah, Maybe 5k. I do think while, it's man, such a losing match because, like, Doc okay. cooking for a month and I learning is not head, nearly as valuable as if Mang or Hungrybox were to just grind Doc for a month. Because Hungrybox is playing that, not grinding, obviously. I think 15k is enough money. To where it's like it's and just all worth it. You get more. That, that's like a big chunk of change, bro. I think you can do a smaller amount that matters less, but brings viewers. That way, Hungrybox can't play lame because it'll get so much. He'll be streaming it. Mm. But maybe his chat doesn't care. I don't know. Interesting. Look at Mango's reply to the 15k tweet. Have fun getting things, fifth, and he didn't. Ooh. And he got. I think Mango. The timeline's hot. Mango's praying right now on Zane, right? Mango's praying. Because if Zane wins, it's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. But if Hungrybox. Yeah, he has to hold that, bro. That is a tough thing to hold. Give it up for your moist mogul, Zane. Let's hear it for our moist moguls, Nick Yingling. Can Nick Yingling just be the Mo moist moguls player manager? No, he's too good at his job. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be so good at that job. He would be good at that. Because he believes. He's a true believer. He's a believer. Where's the moist mogul pillowcase? Everyone keeps asking for it. And by everyone, I mean like 30 people who would buy it. <laughs> And therein lies the answer <laughs> to where it is. Let's go, Zane! He's wearing the bomber. He is wearing the bomber. I need to get him some new clothes. We gotta go. No, that's a sentimental bomber. No, I know, but I just want to get him some new clothes. I need. To, he, need he needs better pants. 
What, the Adidas trackies aren't good enough for you? No. You're rich blood? It's not rich. It's just they don't look rich. Yes, it is. His name is Moist Mogul. You know Ross dressed for life. You named an esports team after being a rich guy. It's not about being rich. Then why did you name it that? Because it's about owning the means of production so you make more than the worker. You don't get it. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. It's not about how much capital you have. It's about w w what you can move with it. Go to esports. Spread them. It really is the mark of a good competitor, though, Brandon. I think you're totally right about that. You know, Zane. Let's go, moist wage theft. <laughs> I do tell the players it's wage theft if they don't get out of pools. <laughs> so funny. We bought your ticket. When you're done streaming, do you want to do... You just want to start doing improv at, like, basement shows? No. Fuck that. Dude, you wouldn't either, right? No way. That sounds horrible. No, why would I even ask you that? <laughs> you're, you're kidding, right? Like, it's like a cringe thing? It's like a cringe. You, you want to pick up golf? Cringe thing right. to say. No, for sure not. Have you ever done improv? Never. You'd like it, I think. But, uh, yo, uh, Have you ever bro, watched improv? I'm going to need y'all to do yeah. me a favor, man. I'm going to make yo, can just make like what? one more some noise, please. I, I just need some noise for here myself, there. man. I, I just, <laughs> do you watch improv? Yeah, Mostly here. You. Okay, I'm there. All right, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. Everybody from MDBA. All right, Zane versus Hungrybox. Zane has not lost to Hungrybox this year in the year of our Lord and Savior. And it's it's been pretty bad. Is this just a rap? It's not a rap because Juan's on a run, and and when he cooks, like he heats up, he gets he gets into a swing. I don't think we'll see a 3 out. You think so? I think we'll see a game five, and if Zane clutches the game five, like that's what matters. <laughs> like the spread him. <laughs> it's the two fists and then Omega Law. Okay, bad pull mods. That's bad a good pull. It's a bad pull. I like the pull. It's a bad pull. Whoa, look at the poll complete. It's a biased poll. 150 is not even a significant amount to come to a conclusion. I think that's a great sample size. It's not a great sample size. 82%. I, love that. I could find 150 commenters. That I love the barfing emoji. Spread him. I do like spread him. We're definitely an anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think it'd be crazy to think otherwise. Da, 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 All right, baby. Zane right. versus Juan. Let's hear from our moist moguls. So the last time they played was uh, was it Gommel? And and Hungrybox tweeted some sad boy shit. He tweeted yeah, he was out, like, I can't like. I gotta figure something out. I gotta like come up with a different plan. Maybe who was he gonna play? He he's I to my recollection he tweeted something to the effect of like I don't know if this matchup is doable. Yeah. I might have to pick up a secondary for Marth. And but someone asked like what kind of secondary and he said some crazy shit. I didn't see that. He said Marth can't or Puff can't be Marth. Yeah. Xbox was the sitting wolf meme. <laughs> That guy's stoic, though. The sitting wolf is not defeated because the sun's the sun's rising. He cannot be defeated. For the sun will always rise. Ooh, we love that. Wow! What do you think of that? He was held too too far right, I guess. It's time for you to tuck in. Right? Let's see. I got some Stop talking about the damn pillow. Let my guy rest his weary hands in peace. Let his bones be weird. Oh my god. It's alright. This kills. That's so funny. Oh! Washed. 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 Mmm. Washed player so bad. Yeah. Oh, we're going to a fucking reset. We're going to a fucking reset, bro. Oh, he's missing his L cancels, bro. It's so Jover. What happened? Hungerbox is cooking. Hungerbox is cooking. I mean, yeah, he's got two stocks. He can just play soccer with him. Football. He knows how to deal with this. Yeah, baby! That's a momentum shift. I haven't seen a shield break on Puff in tournament in forever. I, no one knows why the devs did this, but they made Jigglypuff blow up like a, like a fucking fire. Because she's a balloon Pokemon. That's why. That's, that's why. Kirby? <laughs> why doesn't Kirby blow up? Because he's not a balloon Pokemon. He's a balloon? That's literally what Jigglypuff is called. Fucker's a balloon, The though. balloon Pokemon. I guess that's fair. Yeah! Oh, does he win this game? That would be fucking crazy. If he wins this game, it's actually a 3-0. <laughs> 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 
I, you know what? I, I, I believe whoever wins this game wins this set. I like that. I like that. That's how momentum works. Those rollouts were so dog shit. I do them so much better. <laughs> Ludwig's like, I chef that cheesy, stupid shit up different. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, he's stacking it up, Lebe Numbers. On, one more fair and a grab and he kills. Oh, this is it. No, I wouldn't kill. What the fuck? He missed the pivot, I think. Oh. Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Standing grab sucks there. Oh, he did that. Yep. Oh, you fucker. What Wait, bang? I think Hungerbox figured out how to do that. Uh-oh. How is it possible? Maybe Yep. Not. Is that not DIable? There's, uh, most of them aren't DIable, but some are DIable. I see. And I think Zane might have de like legitimately gotten worse at pivot tippering. Zane has a fucking lead in this set, bro. Oh, no, I'm, listen, listen. Sorry. He might have gotten worse at pivot tippering over time because Hungerbox is so bad at DIing that he might not even like. <gasps> yeah, he's like he hasn't been practicing the good thing. Yeah. But what I what I meant to say when I said that was it's crazy that he has a lead. Oh yeah. Based yeah. on what the set was like earlier. Oh my god. One more dare. <gasps> yeah. Oh! You killed yourself, dude! <laughs> No! Insanely tough. Dude, that is... I gotta think this setup, something's wrong with it. There, Check the disc. No, Someone put fucking Pikmin wrong. in there instead of Melee, oh, and it's just up. running like Doom on a calculator. Hungerbox is such a villain, he laughed after. Oh, you have to. Yeah, you have he to. Went, huh, 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 huh. He went... He laughs like Ganondorf when Zelda's about to get, like, violated. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all either. I think oh, this is wait, Curtain's what? real game too. Oh my the fuck? This is the craziest shit I've ever seen. Now people don't know, Zane used to not be clutch. It's true. He would go to many game five and he would lose to many game five. He has since become incredibly clutch with his Marth. Yeah, it's a thing you, it's like a skill that you learn by being a winner. Cause like clutching is winning, right? And the more you get there and the more you've been in that spot, the better it will, the more it will happen. I think it's winning specifically in high stakes matches where your heart rate is at a, like a point that you can't recreate in regular gameplay. Yeah, it's it's keeping your floor extremely high. That's not a tipper. No, it's not. Tipper would have killed though. Would have been nice. Would have been nice, sweetie. Chillin' Dude once told me, oh, okay. no, they didn't tell me, he told a stream, but uh, I, I know Kashan like that, is where he said, basically, a lot of times if you play tournament like your friendlies, oh no, then that that helps regulate your, your mood, right, your tension. And conversely, what regulates my tension when my when my son, my prodig my prodigal son, set, bro. my prodigal son is making me cry. He's rested here, it doesn't matter. Dude, dude, he's been rested. He's been rested more than eight times in the past two games. Are you? Is there something? I'm sorry, being you. He's rested. He's it's just one get set, bro. You have another set. Go next. You get free roll by the blackjack dealer. Eight rests in two games is insane. He's gathering data. You're trying to make it hype. I'm here to tell people the truth. Is that the, the set two is going to be a 3-0 and a handshake. A shake drizzle. Pragmatism is often disguised as cynicism. Not this time. I'm neutral. Oh. Wow, yes, baby, yes. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. Multi game conditioning, that's right. Multi set conditioning. It's a 6 0, I'm sorry. Rapscallion Joe, you've said a lot of things in this chat, but that's the craziest one. You know what I worry about? I think he needs one. Like, I, 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 it's, I do agree that it's fine he has a second set, but I think if he gets 3 0 the crowd's cheering in a way a bit for Juan because how nasty Juan's playing. That that does influence it. I think you're right. Like, and and, and, and crowd by the way is very Zane pilled mostly because they're it's Virginia. Randall, but it doesn't matter. But Juan's doing nasty. This is the best he's played in a long, long time. In over a year. Yeah. And I, and you know what? Honestly, I'm happy to see it. You legally aren't happy to see it. But I'm a free agent. Love when Hawan wins because it makes me believe Puff can do it. But for the love of God, I want my moist mogul to go on, to go get get on top of him. And get a W in his home turf. Thought he really thought he could sneak in there. You really thought? He's actually really good. It's because he fucking keeps getting fucking dumbass players who keep. Oh my God. Oh! 
look, he read that roll. He read that roll so hard. This is... I'm a little scared for our Moist Moguls. I think, actually, Hungerbox looked up how to DI shit, too. <laughs> finally, finally pulled it up. It's like, those fucking Ludwigs gotta shut up, dude. Tired of this. <laughs> that, yeah, that's there we go. Okay. Right. That's the deal breaker for me, bro. Love tell. Love tell. Wait for the land. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you guys gotta bait nice. that. Again, holding nice. shield, the most broken strategy in current melee. Oh, nice! Really well played. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He understood that because hunger boxes edge guards are good, but it keeps going out a little too far, so he got reverse edge guarded. Come on, let's let wrap this up. Yeah, wrap this up. Wrap this up. Let's go ga uh, game four. We need one. Uh oh, right there, the bad We can't get 3 0 Doesn't go with shield grab. Real smart. Oh! That movement was so gross. Stared? Yep. Wow. Yep. 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 They call it Zane walking. On the board. Mario and Luigi in the crowd. I'm also thirsty. You all three of us. All three goats. I can't believe they have guitar pedals over there. Turn on the flanger. Oh, it's because there's a band set up. <laughs> oh. It actually is guitar pedals. Probably just like music. I thought it was gear for like their setup. Yeah. All right, Zane. God, you look so good in the lighting. Your beard is so much better trimmed than Juan's. He looks like PS6 graphics. Where are we going? Dreamland is sitting there looking healthy. Let's go. We don't care where you're going, Juan. You can you can say it, and my, my boy Zane won't even, like, blink. Spread him, Chet! Spread him! Stadium's good for us. Oh, my. What a treat. What a treat. Thank you, Juan. Thank you for the treat you've given us, Juan. All right, man, all right. It worked out heavily, so maybe he's realizing, look, I don't need space. I need less platforms. Good. That's a good thought by Brandon because I have the same thought. What do you think, Dubbin? I do think player? top platform's pretty scary for Puff because Marth covers it really easily with like short hop or full hop up air. And Puff can't cover it because it takes so many jumps to get there with her little ass. Mm. I don't know why I said it like that. You said it like that. That's <laughs> weird. You said it like you were talking about DW. All right, finally we got that shit. Dude, a reverse 3 0 to win it? Oh, come on. That'd be crazy bananas bonkers. Okay, good. Good bait. Wave dash. F smash. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone gets a Marth Killer occasionally. This is anyone's game, and that's what Melee's all about. You can't got to turn around there, Zane. Your sword's pointing the wrong way. Spread them, chat. Keep spreading them. <laughs> Let will say anything for the W. Even if it means Goats Esports having its moment in the hot, hot sun. Let it breathe down there. It's hot. Let it breathe down there. Spread him. Oh. Sunning my Goatsy for more testosterone. That down there was wishful. All right, Fire Sage, we're out. Oh, this goes through. Never mind. Yep, we big chilling. We chilling. Being a shilling. Fast and Furious All 9, right, Bing Shilling. Back. <laughs> back that smash? No, he's too disciplined on the most moguls. Team Liquid, Hungry Boxingtons. Because he turns you into Liquid. The new counterfeits from Hungerbox, man. I, from I from harming you. From, yeah, from solid or like from gas? It's, it's, like From gas. He condenses you into a bottle. Like a beaker. He drinks you. He drinks you. Very slow game right now. Because this stock means everything. It does mean a lot. I actually do think whoever gets a stock, the other person will instantly die. You so get the really lead matters. here on Pokemon, and it's fucking party time. What was that up B? I'm grossed out by that up B. Uh-oh, my baby O's. He's going to get the kill very fast, though. No. Juan stays away. Juan stays away. He's camping. The only risk is if Juan gets a rest. Juan doesn't, Juan doesn't want to play the video game right now, so he's not going to. When you're Jigglypuff with 100 HP, <laughs> when you're Jigglypuff with 100 HP and your opponent has zero, you're praying that you get some gimmicky rest set up. You don't even want, like want to get like normal extra credit. And this is the kind of shit Ludwig saw <laughs> as a as a young melee ah! player and said, "I don't want to play honest." Dubbin, Dubbin wants cheese I play, and he I play, wants it I now, honest. I play like honest. a baby I play mouse. So fucking honest. I play honest every time I cook you. I don't think you do. 
you would never think you I play, play the honest on. same three mix-ups in your whole life. Really and that's I what makes me so honest. Because I'm enraged. It is actually kind of honest. Because I'm basically RPSing every time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You roll again. Woo! Woo! Nice pound, bitch. <laughs> Shielding up B on pound is, is a Zane, Zane genius. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's a reverse 3-0. This is exciting. Oh, baby. I'm excited. Good read. Good read by Juan. What does he get off of it? Nada. Oh, that grab would have been nice. Do you think you could make Juan a better puff out. player if you were hired to be his coach? I think I can make him okay, a better person. I think I can fix him. That's not what I asked. I think I would help him in his life, which would help him in a game. Oh my god! <laughs> he reach, I teach. Standing grab is very dangerous against Jigglypuff. And Especially if you do it three times in a row. The third time did not help. I'll give you that, Slime. All right, rest does kill and bring us to a reset. Yeah, after a setup. He gets that raw one. He just gets sent off stage like he Ben have done. Had. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes for up tilt rests. He's going to go for it again. Maybe a falling up air rest. Oh! Yep. Stop in! He doesn't run to rest. No. It, he doesn't do it because he has no balls, Dubbin. No, no, it was weird. Okay. It, it I believe a, you. It was a good no rest. And now it's an even ass game ass. Scary. Very scary. Oh, oh my that god. Dude, that was, I think, the, the last pixel of a shield. Oh no. To have. Oh my god. Oh fuck. We're going to end up in a P test video. Let's hear it for our moist moguls. We're going to end up in a P test video on how Hungrybox won with a. Spread him! Yes! Game five. Okay, I think the no rest was good because he did a rising up air and the up air hit so early into it that he had to go through the whole motion that if he had jumped and went for a rest after, I think it would have missed. I meant the reaction tech chase rest on the platform on the right side. Up through the second up air? Yes. Uh, also risk you could slide off, maybe. Okay, pretty far right. I don't know. He's pretty far. I guess maybe. There's a lot. Wow. Game five. This is a big one. This is such an exciting game. Zane working on a reverse 3-0 after getting dicked down yeah. first two games. Yeah. Where's he going? FOD? Back to Pokemon? FOD's kind of scary. I don't like it for Puff. Why? Uh, I just think the platforms are like annoying as fuck, and they only help Mart. I think FD's not that bad, but Zane's really good at it. So. Did you see that? Why did he pick random? I think he wanted to pick random because he didn't know, and then it was a repick of the stage, and so he had to back out. But I think he was hoping the gods would decide. <laughs> He's just having fun little superstitious gambling during the set. Yeah. He seems more introspective about where he's going than I've ever seen him. Yeah, do. I've never seen him stew over this this specific decision. There's wheat, wheat, wheat the main, wheat. He's reaching somewhere deep in his bosom. I have no enemies. Let me use the neck that wears the chain. <laughs> this is game five. Game five. Zane's still on winner's side, so if Hungerbox wins, they do play another set. But if Zane wins, it's game over. He is the Super Smash Con champion in his hometown. He's thinking. Just play a little break beat right now. Hbox. Oh, they called clock. There's deer. The poker timer. They are called sir, clock. Your, sir, your hand is dead if you don't make an action in one minute. They call clock, which I think is crazy. I think it is crazy. It wasn't that long. Yeah, it was a little insane. That's that's kind of mogging Hbox. I would I would argue. Super. I don't like that. Yeah. I, I think it's like he's in the chair. He was he wasn't like going crazy. Nothing compared to Wizzy. Yeah, definitely not. But either way, he goes Dreamland, which I think he was scared of going earlier, which I think makes sense because although you live longer, uh, same with Marth. Marth lives longer. What was the other option here? Back to Pokemon? He picked Pokemon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, FOD. I think he likes the smaller stages. That is an like interesting thought process to have been. Because, like, what you get out of this one as well is, like, the Marth can't oh, yeah. F smash okay. on the platform, but that's not really what's been happening. It doesn't really happen in this matchup in general. In you also can't up tilt. You can live longer off of the up tilt. 
I think this is the right decision considering how the last game went, but maybe that's just results oriented thinking. Is this the last stock or last game, right? Uh, yeah. Slowly drifting his way back in. That trade is going to favor him a little bit to reset. Woo! Empty hop. Totally misses. Gets out of there. Hungerbox with a great DI today. It's also insane percent. Wow, Bowser's. Yeah. Bowser's. Bowser's. Yeah. Insane how quickly Zane reacts to the dash tech. Okay. That was a tricky little, like, triangle jump to, or the Waveland to get to the platform. I really thought he was not going in there. Ooh. You're dead. Wait, that's a really good edge guard. That was really smart. What was smart about it? Well, he just stood on the ledge, and then he waited to get up B. And he was low enough health that it didn't, like, set him too far, and then he just reacted because Marth still has to float after. Yeah, it also turns you around. I think he forward tilted, right? Uh, no, he just he did a reverse back air, I think. I don't think it would have mattered. If it, like, the turnaround didn't matter. That's the Kalindi shit, but he's using it for Puff. Oh, my God. It's so much percent dub in. It is a lot of percent. Okay. Oh, keep him in the air. Oh. I could have just stayed crouching. So a lot of people like time moves to wait for a spot dodge. Hungrybox will do it for like a shield dropping to try to get maybe an up tilt. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, Juan slows it down a bit. Keep your composure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little crazy there, Zane. A little crazy, a little kooky, a little, a little so wild there. You see uh, Zane going for the side B into an up tilt. It's called the floaty killer because it sets up for the up tilt really easy. So that's why he keeps going for it. And it's actually kind of predictable. It's easy to throw out, though. But that's what Xbox is playing around right now. It's pretty low risk. The biggest risk is getting hit by it in air, usually. Yeah. So there it is. There. Yeah, as he was jumping, too. Okay, so it rainbow. sent him in the perfect angle. Holy right. moly. Right. Right. All right. Goat, spread him. He keeps... Uh, there's, <gasps> this, oh, there's this interaction where Zane's shielding on platform. Hungrybox back airs. Does he get an edge guard? Oh, no. Yeah, you could have maybe thrown an F smash and hope he didn't sweet salt, but maybe it's, like, too risky. Okay. No, what the fuck? He just missed the timing. I think he thought he would slide back, which is possible on Dreamland, especially with Wispy. So I think he's trying to cover that. Oh my god! What a but just a flub. Yeah, you just can't cover him. That four air just keeps you out of the range, out of the zone when he's falling down. Spread him, chat. Why didn't he up smash? Ooh, no di. Okay. I don't love the rest. I guess it's fine. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Five percent. You're not mad about that. Dubbin. Two socks of two. Hungerbox doing well to keep it close. It's two of Dubbin's loves. Jigglypuff and Zane. Well, Hungerbox and Marth, but yeah. <laughs> so, look at how long this set's been. Yeah, it's very long because Hungerbox keeps operating between the the far edge of the the side platforms and then top plat. Yeah. But eventually Zane gets close enough that he can cover both at the same time and Hunger Bucks gets hit. This is a the, a lot of patience I've seen in Hbox in this matchup in particular. Usually it's a Zane festival and he's getting thrown around and tippered and it's actually over pretty quick. Hbox is playing this for I think this is the hardest he's ever played in a long time. He's playing it like he played against Armada's Fox. Like the ground is so dangerous to be on as Jigglypuff that I, I cannot be there. Uh, and he's and he's right. Whew. But it is a little bit harder, I think, to get the clutch kills against Marth. He's also in this uphill range. Which is very, very tricky bears. Oh, oh my god. Oh wow, another really tiny shield. He's got, it's crazy that he has to win another set after this. If he wins. Yes. I didn't even think about that. That's how intense this game one's been. Set one. Yeah! Right in the kneecaps. That Ludwig says are ugly. Ugly ass kneecaps. I mean, he's got pants on, so they don't look so bad. <laughs> Clock is low. Won't go to timeout. No. It is very low. <gasps> Whoa! He had to air dodge to get out of that. Oh, it cost him everything. Yeah. His drift on the air dodge was a little bad. I don't know if we're going to timeout, but we're getting damn close. We're getting there. 
Yep, more waiting. Hold shield forever. Okay. Nothing bad will ever happen to you. Ever. So, ever. Yeah, how does Juan get a kill? How does he kill Marth on Dreamland in this spot without getting too much percentage? He's got to get a crazy cross up on the shield to get a grab and back throw, or he's got to catch him in the air back airing to get another edge guard. Here's. No, he's ledge here. He's got in the corner. Okay. It seems like he just has to trade aerials and then pray he gets the edge guard. He doesn't have to trade, though. He can just catch him. But I think he has to trade the way Zayn plays. Zayn plays pretty damn well. I caught him in the knees last time, and it was brilliant. Maybe Zayn will bring us a timeout. Yeah. it's Dude, when it starts to get down to double digits, you're like, uh-oh. Anything's possible. There's finally a backer. Power shield. Yeah. Oh! Wow. The crowd trash. Dude. Okay. Touchdown one. Was Zayn looking for a timeout, maybe? Oh, my God. A minute 15. So, if it goes to timeout, whoever has the lower percent wins. Uh-oh. Or the lower stock count. But they're at both at one stock each. Rest does kill, too. So, this is scarier for Zayn. He almost wants to be less interactive. Hungerbox is the one who's been not really interacting by playing on this side area. Dude, Zayn. Oh, my God. Zayn has to lame him out. Uh-oh. Dump in. Good. Dump in. Oh, misses the pivot. Wow. This is timeout territory. Yeah, we are definitely in timeout territory. Because I think Zane's going to realize that and stop interacting. I've, I've never seen HBox get timed out by Marth ever in my life. Ever. Oh my this is history. This is mogul history. Yeah, he needs a rest. He basically needs a rest to win. And he, and he knows that. So he's going to interact in the final 30 seconds. Ooh! Oh! And that is it. Oh my god. He... He put it all on the line. He dude. did. He did. And he had to. Super Smash Con 2023, Brandon. Wow. Can't Fucking well played by Zane. Wow. Winning at the crib. Woo! The big dog winning in the dog house. Game five. Good. Feels good. Game five, last dog, brought it back. Great fucking performance. Feels good on home turf. The willingness to be able to go to the timeout, too. Wow, raise it up, baby. Hometown hero. I, I like that. That's nice. Let's hear it for our moist moguls. Let's hear it for our fucking moist moguls. Spread them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Spread them for our moist moguls. And also... Yeah, you look great. You look great, buddy. Keep that trophy. Uh, That's Justin. He runs. Don't put that in front of your smile. He's a good guy. I like it. Justin's a great guy. Justin, let us watch this for free. Thank you to Justin for letting us watch Super Smash Con. It just says men in front of in between them. Men. <laughs> That's so funny. Men. <laughs> damn. I want to watch that rest again. Let's break it down. Let's go to the Ludwig Ogren Doritos breakdown of this esports interaction. And welcome to esports now. Might be now, no, but tell me what's going on here. All right, we got Jigglypuff who's down 90%. Certainly with 30 seconds left, not going to win the percentage game. Needs a rest. Recognizes that. Starts entering the fray. Gets an empty hop up tilt. But it's so far to the right. And he DI'd it to the right. That look how far you have to jump. That's not a one jump rest. Oh. Wow, it's actually really Bro, that's close. fucked, dude. Oh, I just passed over it. Yeah, that's really That's really Wow close. Oh, can you go Period that's He rests right active, here, yeah. yeah And he hits the Dude, he's resting his shoulder He might as well be burning his cape off of his body He was just late because Look at Zane <laughs> Wow and, and it was uh The rest, if you don't know Has, I think, intangibility In the first frame or two which is why Zane's fair missed. And it goes right through Jigglypuff. Wow. That it is... looks like he rests right here, to be honest. But it's it's right there. Wow. So I guess he had the... Uh, wait, does it start here? I don't know the starting frame of rest. I guess it's, it's right there. It's right there, yeah. He missed yeah. his way early. But honestly, like... This shouldn't be a miss. Yeah, he's overlapping. But the, the rest hitbox is very small. It's like the very inside of... It's not like the whole Puff uh, body. I see, I see. It's like, the, it's like Puff's heart. Uh, Damn, bro. That is heartbreaking for one. Because it's like... If he had done it a second later, I think it hits. Look at Zane's face. Yeah, yeah. And then he realizes... Instantly goes... Yep. Sigh of relief. And he knows. 
And all he's got to do is hold down the red button right now. So much for attending Super Smash Cut 2023. Don't go away because I want to be a professional we MC. We actually have a I think it's my calling. Whew, I think you do great. Chat, do me a favor. If you want to support our moist moguls, get yourself a corduroy snapback hat. Get yourself some shorts and look like a baseball player. All right? Don't like the rugby shirt? Don't get the rugby shirt. Get your, Just get a hat or something. I like the shorts. Support right, our man. moist moguls. Link in the pinned comment. You know, rep. I don't want to look like an ump. Why? You don't want to look like somebody with power? Yeah, you don't want to look like someone who can throw players somebody, out of the game. Somebody with authority? They do this. Killing it. Killing it. Stu's got the voice. Yeah, right? I'm telling you, man. I'm like, yo, am I at a tournament or am I in like the MGM Grand? What's Guys, what do you think of that one? <laughs> Good Grand Finals? Maybe? A little bit? I was well, I well, do you guy. Well, that, that, that flair to me. I'm, that's, that's it. Thing, you know? That was you good. Like that was a great grand like finals. Yeah, 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 I yeah, do yeah, think yeah. that <laughs> touchdown Juan got robbed. Man, uh, no, he didn't we're got robbed. He got fucking. He got beat. He got his ass beat. He got his ass beat and robbed. He got his ass and meat beat. I would love how if 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 Zane just took off his chain after and just put it on himself. Just wordlessly. This is a great 2023 for Zane. It's been a pleasure working with you. He just won Super Smash Con. Uh, he won Gommel. He won Fett, which was a little weird. He got second at LACS. He won Tipped Off. He, no, don't gloss over that wave dash. That's with Roy. What he won? That's with Roy. Oh, that's with Roy. Yeah, it says it on the right. Seventh at Wave Dash with Roy. He won 105 dollars on Roy alone. Uh, it's a good 2023. The only bad thing was Genesis, really. Genesis was not his best uh, performance. Why did he say fifth to six? What the fuck is going on here with Wikipedia? You know what seventh seventh means. It's not seventh eighth. It's seventh. It's double Lelim. Yeah, but it shouldn't say fifth to six. It's the same thing. It's just tied for fifth. Which shouldn't say that. It should just say fifth. No, no. Well, it's, there's two people who get it. Yeah, but the six shouldn't exist. It's not weird to do. Sixth at Genesis, fourth at Genesis. Or it's not weird to say 33rd to 48th as opposed to just 33rd. But six is not a position you can earn in the game. Yeah, same with 34th. That's why it shouldn't be here. But it's the range of people who are getting it. It's showing that multiple people will hold this position. But seventh not through eighth is not a range. Yeah, but he's not, he does not solely hold the seventh position. So if it said just seventh, it would be somewhat inaccurate. Yeah, but no one is eighth, so it shouldn't exist. Nobody has got eight. It just shouldn't be on the thing. This happens. This has been like this for years. I think it makes sense. It doesn't make sense as a double elim. They don't play it out for eight. Let's listen to Zane talk. Regardless. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo. Oh my yo, it's so kick man. Yeah. Same. It's huge. It's yeah, right? Yo, congratulations. Mango. So petty. So fifteen year old mango hits that. Yeah. Like, this was a mango Christmas. Like, oh, is one you know, not winning the tournament. It's like where you like got the foundation at, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2015 was my first major here, and I've been coming every year since I haven't Let's missed go. one. Let's go. And I've always I watched Mewtwo King Leffen, mm -hmm. Mango Mewtwo King, like all those grand finals, and I always wanted to be up there. Let's go. And yeah, here you, just, yeah. Here. here you are. Here you are. Move that trophy so out of his face. Like, yeah, you got it. Well, you got to move that trophy out of his face. I want to see. Well, Walt doesn't well, well, know unless they can yeah, see yeah. themselves. What's that feel like? Run us through it's that. amazing. My sister was here. She was. <laughs> Let's go. She usually watches. Uh, oh, Zane has such a loving family. See that? See that? Yeah, she, yeah they she gave was it watching in here for that. all of my friends from college, who yeah. some of whom I haven't seen in a long time. Let's go. We're here. Um, I know the MC shouted out Virginia what Tech. A, what a fucking amazing here. Let's go. Shout out Virginia it's Tech. It's really emotional. It's insane. Man. So, Let's yeah. go. Happy for you, man. Yeah, it Happy is. for you. You work hard. And it's cool to see. I mean, you travel all over the world, and you know, yeah. it, it, it's different when. God, we did this. You know, we did, everybody's this. Like fan we did you. this. We did this. Go East Coast. You get all the prize get money once, but like we did the same. Me and you. Every time you yeah. went on stage, <laughs> they're like an open oh, a soda no, I'm can. Not, I'm not used to it. But it felt so good. Like, I kept my usually I like blast my headphones. I kept it a little down. I was like, this is kind of nice. Like, let's go. Let's yeah. power up. Yeah. What, but honestly, what do you think of Hurry Box that set? Because I thought he played like played the amazing. best he's ever like. Insane. I said that. <laughs> Crazy to say it's the best uh, he's ever played. As he like, I watched his sets versus Cody. Sometimes like, you're the he, best like, in the he world. Was clean on every edge yeah. guard. Yeah. Every decision he made was like tight and like <laughs> just scary. And I wasn't. I haven't played versus Pup since I played him at like Last what was year. it? LACS. I think yeah, you guys LACS. played. I, I got more, right? Yeah, well, we Gommel, played three Gommel, weekends. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, played right, a lot. Yeah. Uh, 
And so <laughs> they played like two games. So much this year, I like, actually. I gotta get it together, man. Because he was <laughs> riding off the momentum. Well, <laughs> the stages too. I felt like he went very unorthodox with that. Normally, I, yeah. it's like Battlefield. Yeah, you gotta do, you, start. do you have any idea of like why you guys started why? FD? Okay, like, so what happened there? Usually, Stadium is a starter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh um, uh, yeah. I think he liked the transformations because he's. A, He's a little more old school than I am, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zane's a young gun. A little bit. Like, 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 like Zane's a, Zane's yeah, a doc kid. Like, he played on Transformation. Yeah, 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 but like, most yeah. of Hungerbox's yeah, career were on Transformation. He gave a look, and then that's why I was, I was like, time! Time! Like, yo, we gotta get on today! Yeah. The TL start going up there, you know? I, I do think Dreamland's the best choice overall. How come Mogul Moves, Mogul Moist Moves that I have my sponsors? Do you not see the Awkward GX logo on his shirt right now, No Port? He can make it work. What do you think for you was do you not see it? We got a sponsor coming. For that set. Actually, just um, signed one this week. <laughs> the fact that I had done it You'll see it. Ludwig tournament. It's Blue was, Chew. That was a I just told myself I was down 2-0, and first game it was kind of in a stupid way. With right, right, down right. I was like, I c if, if I play the game I want, I can absolutely do it. You can always dust them, baby. That's good. That's and great. And I, I still knew I had another set. I tried not to think about it and just focus one game at a time. Yeah, just stay present. I feel like in those See, that's your thing about the second set already. Yeah, I was. You start thinking about it, you go to it. But that's true. That's why I'm not up on that stage. Yeah. Anybody, that's anybody why we're up on that stage right now. Today you and no? Zane. Oh I'm the there. That you're thinking about right now? Yeah. Um, let me think. Mango, I, pl I played at Gommel, but we had some really good friendlies yeah. the other day, and Marthalco. And he was telling me, man, he was like, <laughs> he's like, you pick FD versus me, Doc Lee might come out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's been rocking. He's really trying to make Doc Lee happen. Like, oh, why am I scared? <laughs> 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 right? Like, why am I, like, yo, why am I nervous? Yeah. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything you want to tell, like, NBBA in particular? I feel like with this... You know, I'm sure you got. I mean, tell me shit. Ties here, you get from here. Is there anything that you want them to know as just a region? Yeah, everyone, old and new. I've been playing for almost 10 years now. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, right. I know. But go to your Smash Fest. Go to your locals. I'm, I'm trying to come to these caves and stream on yeah. my channel. Make sure yeah. spot. He's got a shout out to new sponsor. I'll try to be there tomorrow, actually. I think that'd be really oh, hype. Oh, let's go. I think oh, he has deliverables. Yeah, he has to win really the fucking sick. tournament and do um, deliverables. Shout out to new sponsor, Saudi Ramco. Too, Saudi Ramco. Every time I won the we got game, oil I coming. it towards like one big tournament. Oil him up. Tell him about the oil money. Tell him about the oil money, Get moist with our mogul oil. Get moist by bathing in oil. It's good for your skin. And I think if you do both Slippy and interact with your local scene, go to your Smash Fest. <laughs> Oil them up and spread like them. Go. The best feeling in the world. Right. Yeah. And then not even just for improvement, but I feel like the social in, in my cool. life, some of my best friends that I've ever met were at locals. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know, so guys, go to your yeah, local. Yeah, support your local scene. Locals. Man. Your TOs as well. I'm going to love to get a regional. Tomorrow. Yeah. Go it's in Virginia, game. right? Yeah. yeah so it's okay. really close to here, actually. It's oh, probably okay. 15 minutes away. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. That's you so guys sick. are in town still? Y'all are in Chantilly, uh, Virginia. Check it out, but Zane, the big dog, is always, I'm always happy. Chantilly anyway, sounds like a beautiful to stripper. The people at home. Wait, what's up? <laughs> Any last words you want to give to the people at home? Uh, Any shout thanks? outs to Moist Moguls. There it is. Um, hey. Both Charlie and Lud. I said this in our, uh, yeah, I know. And the Gaul one. No one will know, though. Because we lost it. We lost it. But genuinely, those two guys, I met Charlie pretty recently. Let's just down-to-earth people, and I'm, I'm proud to represent them. I think Let's they're go, really cool. Baby. Charlie go. got a lot of talk um, there. And yeah. shout-outs. Me too. All my friends who came here. Ah, so we're not talking ah, about nah, the guys yeah. anymore. <laughs> we're talking about his friends. Nah, well, well, we, we go back. It's like, you don't need to shut me out anymore. Uh, thank you so much. It, it really you kind of got glossed over. I didn't get glossed. I didn't get glossed. It's he like, mentioned how Charlie was down to earth. No, no, he said both of them. Both of them are. Yeah, down but he said Charlie specifically. I, he met Charlie more recently. He's like the like the flavor of the week. But it's like I'm always there. He just kind of ran you over. I'm always there. He runs me over every time we hang out. We out. Oh, that's how, that's how we do it. Okay. That sounds like that sounds really nice of him. Oh, I actually got a DM from him. Go to your local. Zane DM me and he said, buy Moist Moguls merch right now or I will quit Melee. Oh, Whoa. shit. That's insane. It's crazy he typed that before he got on the stage right yeah, there. Yeah, and it just sent out. So wow. anyway, chat, click on the pinned comment if you guys want to get yourself a nice corduroy hat with Mogi on it. It will look cute. It'll be cute. Everyone thinks it would look cute on you. Everyone's saying that. You don't have to look cute. You look ugly as hell. Oh my god. Look at the one, beef. One getting... Be look at the beef. Hungerbox snaps back and he says, have fun getting fifth. 
Mango said, I had a great time. You experienced getting reverse 3 0 at your best tourney run in a year. Pick your fight with me because that's all you got now, nowadays. Nowadays. He means he nowadays. I think he doesn't know the phrase. It's a dog e dog world. It's a doggy dog world, yeah. Uh, what is. Has Mango won a tournament this year? He's won recently, right? Past year? Uh, I think SmashCon was his last tournament that he won. Was it a year ago? Yeah. Can you, I, you could check. I, I I think that's the case. This song's just grooving. Just jazzy and grooving. He won... What the hell is this shit? Main oh, stage? Jesus. He won main stage 2022. Oh, that's it. Oh, Lost Texas. And he won Smash Summit, which you, you forgot about. What? Smash Summit 14. How did I forget that? So he's actually doing not too bad. He's got two in the past year. But this year has been a little a little shy. <sighs> Zane just has his number a bit in Grands. Yeah, bro. He plays a sword man. He really again, only loses to two people. Ludwig makes a calculated business division. He loses to Hungrybox and he loses to Zane. Foo! God damn. All right, chat. Well, that's it. It's ultimate time. I'm not watching that, but I'll move you guys over to Charlie, who might watch it. I don't know if... Charles, Is as he, he likes live? to be called. Is he even live, actually? He likes to be called Charles. Charles ain't even live. I guess there's no moist players. Did light get knocked? I guess the light's not even in it. Didn't even watch it. Uh, I'm going to go, though. I'm going to wrap up. Charles is plural for... Ch it's one. It's, it's several Charles. It's not... So, there's, so one person's a Charles? Yeah. And two's a Charles? Charles. What about a Charlie? That doesn't count. Is that like female? That's... Yeah, that's the feminine conjugation. Of Charles. Okay. <laughs> well, either way, Chad, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Send them to VGBC. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll send you to the OG broadcast. Um... Support sense. VGBC. They let us fuck. They let us fuck, and they let us fuck for free and hard. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's super dope of them. Uh, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. See you later, everybody. Let's hear it for our moist mogul. We'll see you at the next Smash tournament. What is the Smash calendar? Do they even have one anymore? The next one coming up is who knows. I don't know. But I bet it's soon. It's Shine next week. Shine, which Zane is definitely going to because that's his home turn. So we'll probably watch that one too. All right. Peace out, everybody. This Thursday, we're doing Pog Champs. This week, I'm also doing my NPC stream and uh, other shit. But for now, who gives a shit? All right. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Goodbye, everyone. Keep <laughs> gooning. Goon as hard as you can. Goon Commander out. Goon till the day is gone.